Hey everyone, Kiro Style here. Welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Thank you so much for joining me here on stream. Thank you so much for following too, uh, I Compactor. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Welcome to my Twitch. So today we are playing more 13 Sentinels. It's day two of playing this game. And again, we're kind of celebrating my 13th month of making videos by playing 13 Sentinels. Yesterday we started off the game, we did the prologue, and then we also did the tutorial battles, and now we have a choice to make of where we go from here. So there's the Remembrance section, which is the story section, where you go through the characters' stories. There's the Destruction section, which is where the battles take place. And then there's like unlockables and like information that we gather. So we can kind of decide like, if we want, we could do, like, all the battles and then start doing more of the story, or we could do the story until we get locked out. I think I enjoy the stories more than I enjoy the battles. The battles are fun, but I think I'll mix it up a little bit. I think it'll be more interesting if I do some story, some battle, some story, some battle. I'm not exactly sure how the pace is. I guess at least it tells me the percentage of progress at the bottom, so we're, like, almost a fifth of the way through the game in terms of just battles, but then... The story were less than less than ten percent, so so there are thirteen characters. Now, not all thirteen of them are selectable right now. We have what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, and I think I counted him twice. So there's seven of them now, but there's thirteen characters. We've met them all except for like Shinonome. We really don't know much about. Maybe they become unlocked more as we go. So I'm kind of interested in Sekigahara's story. Uh, Minami's story is also kind of interesting to me. Amaguchi and Karabe. I feel like we have to start with Karabe. Even though I know the first option it gives me is Sekigahara because we just did his prologue last. But I think like, Karabe is kind of the poster boy, right? So I think it would probably make sense or hopefully maybe it means that the story makes more sense if we start off with him. So we found out that he is from the future, well I mean a lot of these characters are from different time periods, and he might be like the last surviving like pilot, and then he somehow they have to erase his memory to save him, and then he reawakens as this new Jiro Karabe instead of Jiro Izumo or whatever his name was, and he really likes monster movies and giant robot movies, so last time we saw him he accidentally summoned a robot in the middle of town, and it just kind of ended there, so Let's see what's he, let's see what he's about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Open the flow chart with square to view the protagonist's story paths. You can resume a story from events with blue checkpoints. Wait. Bad news, Juro. Where are we in, gone missing again. in time? Eddie's at the cafeteria. Get ready to head over. Wait, we already did this part. Are you thinking of crashing this place again? Why not? Wait, but... This is different. Because we saw this scene already in the prologue. But now on the chart, it shows here. So this must be different. And look at branches. Interesting. Would you like to oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'd love to, but... I've kind of got I never finished here. reading this. Mm, okay. Also, like I thought, Sh I thought Sheba would be one of the playable characters, but he doesn't appear to be. He's not in. He's not on the cover, and he's not in the official artwork. And he seemed like he knew something when we summoned the robot in town. He, I think, he knows more than he let on. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. You know, I need to present it. Okay, it's not the one you were looking for, but Shall we go home together? I found a little something else Sorry, you've been wanting to see. Plans. You know you? that hardcore foreign movie? Oh, hardcore, you say? It sounds so creepy. It's just a sci-fi flick. I also take the next episode of that drama series, the one where the alien runs away to Earth. Hmm. Is that the one where he teleports from the UFO to the bridge? Oh, crap. Seen it already? I gotta get going. I don't really remember watching it, but... I, I don't know. 
Maybe I did. See you, Later. Bye. Hmm. Hey, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by. So I can talk to him about more things. I can talk to him about Amaguchi. And a visitor. We can't go to his place every single day. What if we're annoying him? Then let him be annoyed. <laughs> okay. I still get to play his games. You just want Amaguchi for his video games. In that movie, an alien's UFO breaks down. So he runs away to take refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. I, d I don't know what movie that is. While I was taping that show, I remembered something else. I totally forgot last week. They were airing UFO Wars on TV. I can't believe I missed it. Released in 1977, this was the first in a hit series from the United States. It's a dramatic sci-fi adventure taking place in a galaxy far, Wait, are far you talking away. about Star Wars? Its popularity holds strong no matter how much time passes. UFO Wars. You know, when I was little, I wanted to watch, like, anime. But the only time it played on TV was, like, Friday late at night. Like, late at night for someone who is still going to, like, a young person going to school, right? Not like, it's not late now, if I consider it now. But anyways, so my parents wouldn't let me stay up to watch it because it was late and past my bedtime. So what I would do is I would tape it every Friday and then I would get up first thing Saturday morning and watch it. Those were the days, man. Back when we didn't have Netflix and stuff. I actually taped UFO Wars myself. Wanna borrow it? Oh, I'm in luck! The quality's not that great, though. I recorded it in EP mode. Jeez, get your hands on some better tapes. I think I'm done talking to you, right? Oh. Hey, about Fuyasaka-san. That's a sleepy girl. I notice she always leaves during break time. And? What about it? I'm just wondering where she goes all the time. Judging from what the other girls have been saying, she runs off to the nurse's office to take a nap. She's sleeping? What? You want to follow her to bed? <laughs> Come on, quit it. Oh, I forgot I had a flyer in there. One for the Dimos movie. A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what would become a long-running series. I mean, that must be talking about Godzilla, right? But I don't know enough about Godzilla to... They say. Okay, so I've already considered a lot of these things, but... Because we're now on a different story path, the triangle in the corner, I think, is trying to tell me that I haven't considered them. Let's see if they say something different. Come to think of it, I saw Shibakun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. Okay, so these are different. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. We heard this one before. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. You know, the other day I had a weird dream too, and like it involved like one person that like I've known or seen recently, and then like a couple people I recognize from my past that I haven't seen in many, many years. It's kind of weird how that works, right? Because I'm told that, like, in dreams, all the people or all the faces you see are from something you've seen in real life. Whether it be someone you know, or maybe someone that you even just briefly saw passing down on the street, or, like, a celebrity or someone on TV. Because the human mind, when it's sleeping, is not really good at creating, like, completely new, original faces and people, so it just uses memories. I don't know how true that is, because there's no way to test it, but... That's what they say. A sci-fi movie from 1954. Yeah, I already the read this one. Why is it green? 
I tried to present it to him. Is that this week's issue? Yep. Last week was a real cliffhanger. I'm dying to know what happens. Well then, allow me to explain. After all hell breaks loose, the main character just stop right there. Yeah, no spoilers. Your word, and you're going on my shit list. <laughs> I present this to you. Hey, remember the original Daimos movie I mentioned? Mighty Kaiju Daimos? They're showing it at the theater right now. Wanna go see it? Isn't that the crappy old theater by Tsutsuji Station? I'd rather rent it on video. Then we can watch it on Amiguchi's big TV. Cheaper, too. Am I done talking to you? Didn't you want to go to Amiguchi Kun's house? <laughs> Whoops. This is no time to be reading comics, huh? Let's head to the cafeteria. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. Let's head to the cafe if we're too slow. I also read like very briefly, I don't know much about this game, I didn't do research on it, but I read briefly that this game was originally on the visual novel database. I think that's a- I'm not sure if that's a, an official database or if it's like a fan database. Because, I mean, half the gameplay in this is just talking and making decisions, right? Which is kind of indicative of a visual novel, but... This game was removed from the visual novel database because it was deemed it had too much gameplay to make it to qualify as a visual novel, which is weird. And then people were discussing on the thread that, like, games like Ace Attorney are sometimes considered not as visual novels because there's like too much gameplay, but I'm like, but there's so much reading and talking in Ace Attorney, how could it not be a visual novel? Who's making these decisions? Let's... Oh, there we go. Here either, huh? Well, crap. So much for gaming today. This cafeteria is so empty. You think after school would be, would be kind of a buzz for a little bit, huh? Also, my my V2 model keeps looking very sleepy because thinks my eyes are dripping. Maybe maybe my eyes are dripping more than I think. Can I fix that? I bet I can. I just have to recalibrate it. Maybe adjust the sensitivity on the eyes. Oops, that's Kirby. That's not me. There we go. Oh, hey, Sterling. Thanks for coming by. Or Puffy. I'm not sure what name you go by. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming by. I think the girls might know where he is. Maybe they've seen him somewhere. I know you were eavesdropping earlier. You know, Kisaragi and the others. Did they mention him? Uh, I don't know. Huh? Minami, right? Oh, Yurokun. That's her name, right? Hi, Minami-san. Have you seen him? Uh. What's up? Well, uh, you know, about that guy. I'm just wondering how long he's planning to stay over. Ah, right. About that. Who are you talking um, about? He's got a lot going on, you know. If you could let him stay a bit longer, I'd appreciate it. Stay where? You're the best. Is he staying with me? Oh, Who are we talking about? The time. Why are we being so cryptic? I've gotta go. Is this Seki Kahara? We'll later, okay? Hey, okay, bye, Minami. Are you off to take care of your alien robot friend, or has that not happened yet? Who's that chick? Minami-san, my neighbor. Oh, they're neighbors. My grandma's pretty close with her family. You're looking pretty close yourself. Yeah, she wears very short shorts. What are you trying to <laughs> imply? This is a serious issue at home. I was supposed to have this free time to myself. Ah, so much for that. Oh. Recall. Ever since that day, my life's been turned upside down.
Yeah, maybe it's BJ. I don't know if that's happened yet, though. Because the, the timeline is all... Weird. No. Guess I fell asleep. Mmm. Smells good. Oh, hi. Wait. You're up. Wait, you're... Dinner's almost ready. You're that... Could you get the chopsticks? That Homura girl, I can't remember her name. You're the one that liked me after I lost... No, you liked me before I lost my memories. Why are you here? When is this? When's this happening? I'm so confused. Or is that not her? It's definitely her. Thanks. Go ahead and place them at the table. I have to think I had to consider this before I put them down. Mm. She probably didn't realize it, but these are matching chopsticks, like for a married couple. That only makes me feel even more awkward. There's so much like random blushing and flirting in this game. Like everyone has the hots for everyone. I guess they are like in high school, so they're kind of at that age. There we go. <laughs> It's like we're newlyweds or something. So, okay, no. I'm not following that train Wait, but this is after you lose your memories. Uh, I need to come up with a way to kick her out. Kick her out? Is she the visitor? But you said he, so that's not her. Dinner's ready. Shall we start? Yeah, it's uh, Megumi. Yeah, that's her name. What are you... But you were supposed to stay away from me after I lost my memories. That's what Morimura told you to do. You have bags under your eyes. It's because you stay up late watching movies every night. You need to get to bed early. We're the same age. Stop acting like you're my mom. Besides, I can't fall asleep even if I wanted to. Oh? Why not? Well, because... <laughs> you're here. Me? Have I done something wrong? Come on. We're a boy and a girl. Alone together. Puberty exists. Uh, are you trying to torture me? I mean, me? come on, man. You can still sleep in separate rooms and not have to be bothered by that. It's not like just having her in the house is going to make you not fall asleep. Come on, man. I guess you are having weird dreams at night, though, so... Hey. Wait, why'd you get so close uh... to her when I clicked? We really shouldn't be living together like this. Are you afraid of someone finding out? Well, that's part of it. So they're like secretly living together? But anyway, I want you out of here by next month. If you say so. Oh, you just lay it on thick there. Someone's here. Hide. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, under the table, quickly. <laughs> okay, but... This is not... His time period. This is her time period. Right? Which means that technically shouldn't this be her house and I'm the one crashing over? But I guess maybe Miss Morimira got me a place. Because I don't- I'm not from this- Jiro-kun! Are you home? I'm not from this time period. Minami -san. Oh. Hi. Couldn't Just, you have knocked first? Just kind of let yourself in. Come on, your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. Hey, but Granny's not here. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Are you going to ask me to house another person and then I'm going to have two people living in my house except I don't want them to know each other? That's like the makings of a good sitcom. Oh my god, Jiro-kun! I didn't know you cooked! <laughs> About that. <sighs> so, uh, what's this favor you need? Is it BJ? The favor is. Oh, Minami san. I what? didn't know you lived so close. I told you to hide! <laughs> did you really need to come out? What part of what part of that did you <laughs> Your Yakushiji san? What part of that did you not understand? Wait, no way. Are you two Do you need something from him? She, why is she acting like my mom? Okay, I can't talk to her. It's not what it looks like. This is just... 
you know, Natsuno-san? Oh, not you too. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh, wait, am I housing you now too? My interruption. Why is everyone crashing at my house? So this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kinda complicated, but yeah. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. Uh what? I understand you're Tamao san's grandson. How do you know Minami san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Well, she's kind of staying Just in it. Let him stay until your granny's back. <laughs> oh, so granny's out. Change. I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. Oh, come on, don't blackmail me. Not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, all right? Thanks. See ya. You didn't give me a choice. <laughs> hey, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by. Why are you so smiling about over here? Uh, hey, Mira. Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? <sighs> there goes my simple high school life. Things just keep getting weirder and weirder. Dude, your life isn't very simple to begin with, man. You're from the future. Oh, what? So those were my decisions already. There's more I could have done? So instead of going to the cafeteria, I could have gone somewhere else. And then instead of doing the flashback, I could have... ...done something else? Okay, let, let's go back. Can I start from here? Doesn't let me click from the chart. Sure. If I go from here. Surely that's not all there is to his story. There must be more to it after this. Do I have to do this part all over again? Bad news, Juro. Let me get yeah, yeah. probably a thanks for making my look cool. Can I leave for the cafeteria right away? Oh come on, okay. Grab oh, yeah. the school bag. Bring it to him. I never finished Wait. Issues at home was not on the menu at this point in time last time. So I can get I can get things into my thought bubble from the future and carry them over to the past. I mean time travel's already a thing, so I guess it's not a not a big thing. Okay, um well I can't present this to him. Minami san suddenly and then brought over Miyurakun out of nowhere. Oh so this is different. As if I didn't have enough problems with Yakushiji around. I always dreamed of living on my own. So much for that. Hmm. Interesting. Let's look at the chat. To get other timeline routes, there are other conversations and events happening at the same time that you can interact with instead. Okay. What, what if I go talk to these guys? Intrude on your conversation. Oh, you... You told me where to find Amaguchi. There's a stack of papers. I can grab these too. The papers. Bye. Miss Morimura forgot them again. Oh, so I could I could find Amaguchi by the vending machine, or I can go bring the papers to Miss Morimura. Can I ditch Shiba? Bye, Shiba. Oh, come on. Yakushiji. Juro, you'll be home for dinner, right? I'll cook something for you. Don't say that so loud. Hey, watch what you're saying. We're still at school. She is so not discreet. And Shibakun's here. It's too hard to talk to her with Shibakun around. Hey, if we're going to the cafeteria, that's the long way around. Let's use the other stairway. So you don't want me to go to the nurse? Hey, if we're going to the cafeteria, let's use. Let me talk to you. Let's head to the cat if we're too slow. Can I? There are drink vending machines at the break area. 
It's located at the corner of the schoolyard. If what Fuyusaka-san said was right, we should be able to find Amiguchi-kun there. Okay, so I could present the stack of papers to him, or I can present the break area. Hey, I think I know where Amiguchi-kun is. He's probably outside at the break area. Huh? You mean that place with the vending machines? Let's check it out. Hey, if we're going to the schoolyard, that's <sighs> the long way around. I don't know my way around here, man. <laughs> What's up with the yakisoba pond lately? <gasps> the yakisoba pond. It's sold out. I heard there's a guy who buys shitloads of them. Oh look, it's a uh... Okino. I can't talk to you. There you are, my little arcade. <laughs> my little arcade. <laughs> Amiguchi-kun. Ah. Oh. What's up? Could we hang out again today? You got it. Let's see. Why don't we go to your place this time? Wait, Juro's place? No. No, I have two freeloaders living with me. Well, I mean, I guess Yakushiji doesn't seem like a freeloader. She's like cooking and making food for me. There's no point. Don't you have the place to yourself right now? <laughs> About that. I want to check it out. About that. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little. It's complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated. I mean, I guess I could. I seem like I can confide him in him about this. It's true, my grandma's away visiting relatives, but his TV's a piece of junk. Well, right now, I have a guest staying over. Things are a little awkward, so... Uh, sorry. It's just not a good time. Well, alright. Let's go to my place, then. That's my man! <laughs> we just want you for your TV. Thanks. Time is money. Let's go already. Oh, Shiva. It's already seven o'clock. Man, Amiguchi's place is the best. Any game you want to play, he's got it. He really is a rich kid, huh? I'm jealous. Come on, man. We can play something multiplayer at least. Oh, hi. There you are. You said you wanted a drink, right? You cool with soda? Thanks, Amiguchi-kun. Let me just stand around awkwardly with the soda for a little bit. Let's let's think about it. Oh no, it's just drink. Okay. Thought I have to consider it first. <sighs> I can't see. <laughs> What'd you say? Huh? I can't see. Huh? Huh? Can you play? You playing? I can't see. Can you play? Can you play? Am I making it harder for you? I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> That's a nice little detail. It's getting dark. We should probably go get dinner soon. You're coming, right? My treat. You already paid for my ramen last time. I feel kind of bad. Then what? You want to call it a day? I can still tag along. I'll just pay for my own food. Damn. That means I've got to pay too. Shiva. No, you're pretty cool, Amaguchi. Even though you're kind of a flirty guy sometimes with the girls. World video. Oh. Did you watch the video? I kind of stepped on it a couple times. Hope hey, you don't I'm mind. I'm going to ignore a friend's recommendation. Did you already finish it? What did you think? 
kind of a campy plot. You've got this mad scientist who loses his real body, so he builds a new body and sets out, bent on revenge. It was interesting, but definitely not for casuals. For casuals. <laughs> for a B-movie? That just proves it's a masterpiece. Ah, crap! Don't talk to me right now. You'll break my concentration. What's that? What's that? What's that about your concentration? Huh? I can't huh? see. I can't talk to you anymore. Whoa. What's up? Just learning something about you. I figured you were only really into Western music. Never thought you'd be into the idol scene. Miyuki Inaba. She's been really getting big lately, hasn't she? I mean, you know how it is. Just got curious. Just got curious, so I went and bought all her merch. No biggie. I'm getting hungry. Did you want to just grab dinner and go home? Actually, uh... Do you think I could stay a little longer? I'd really appreciate it. Wait, is poor Megumi at home, like, cooking for him? And wondering if he's gonna come home and eat it? <laughs> Cause they don't they don't have like cell phones in this time period or anything like that. Well, I can't leave. My old man's probably at his mistress's place again. Oh, dang. And I'm all by myself here. Stay as long as you want. Thanks. Say, uh, any specific reason you don't want to go home? Well, the person I'm living with is. Uh... <sighs> I can't put the blame on her. I'm the one with the problem. If I'm around her too long, I might... You might what? Huh. You might what? Anyhow, wanna get food? Okay, we'll just drop the conversation. We're leaving! Hold on, I'm almost done! You snooze, you lose. We could swing by the video store. Pick up something new to watch. Oh. Speaking of, before I forget again, here you go. Is that the sequel to that sci-fi flick? All right, let's check it out when we get back. We can watch it together. I'm gonna have to pass. Oh, not in the mood for horror? That's not it. <sighs> Sorry, it's just... I think I've been watching too many movies lately. I'm getting kind of scared. I keep having weird dreams. Oh, is this how they start again finding out that they're having weird dreams? Oh no, he already knows about this. In the dream, I... I went insane. I killed everyone around me. What? Including Fuyusaka-san. And you. What? Uh. Yakushiji too. So now I feel anxious whenever she's around. Oh, that's why he doesn't. Uh, I'm scared. He doesn't want her around. I might end up actually killing her. Come on, Kate, don't say that. That's, that's just like. Red flag. If he starts saying stuff like that. Oh jeez, this is his dream. Oh. Izumi-san. You are different. Stop, please. You killed everyone. You are buff. But this is back when he was Izumi. You. You came to the future for this? Whatever happened to protecting us? Ida. We had it all wrong. He's been working the out. The true cause of this disaster was you. What? It's your nano machines. You all have them. Nano machines, That's son. That's what's calling the Daimos here. What? As long as you kids are alive. Hordes will keep on coming until they've destroyed all time and space. You're lying. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is the only way. No, no. D dang. I'm sorry, Yakushiji. The pain will only last for a moment. Too late to back out now. 
I must kill my doubts and finish the job. In order to escape from this eternal cage, it must be done. The cause of this was us? You're persistent, Ida. Don't worry. I'll put you out of your mind. Ida's not his first name. Oh, oh. My God. Oh, hi. What have you done, Jiro? Morimura-san. Where's the wound? Let me see it. Is it Ida? His first name? Wasn't it Shu? Shu Amaguchi? It's all for you. I could just be wrong. Morimura. Okay, well that was... Very different. Okay, so we... So at the break area, I bet I could have interacted with Okino, and that would have led to something else. Okay, um, let's go back here, because then we can go to Murray, Morimura. Oh, it even tells me here. Wait, get rid of Shiba in the classroom or the hallway. Oh, it, it tells me. Stack of papers present to... Wait, no. I present the stack of papers to Shiba. So why does it say Shu's name here? Yeah, his name's Shu, not Ida. But then... Jiro's name changed when he lost his memory, so maybe... Okay, and it doesn't tell me... So, whatever these branches are, I haven't figured out how to... Get them yet. Okay, let's let's go... Yeah. Okay, let's do the stack of papers. Bad news, Jiro. Let me guess. I think. Thanks for making my life easier, man. Oh, see, like I already know cool. the stuff from the let's other path. Stuff and head over. The papers. I guess Morimura forgot them again. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I never... Can't leave yet. Oh, I need my bag. This kind of reminds me of Zero Escape in 999. This is kind of the... You can, like, do different story branches, and then information you learn from other ones you can use in other paths, even if they're divergent of each other, or if they take place in different time frames. Don't just leave me here. Wait, where's my... There it is. Sorry, shiba -kun. I have to drop off these papers. You should have told me sooner. We'll just meet me at the front gate when you're done. In the meantime, I'll go hunt down Amiguchi. Well, there's Shinonome. Guess Miss Morimura's not here. You don't know anything about her. She just kind of appeared in that battle. Did Shinonome Senpai collapse again? I should let her rest. <sighs> oh, I'm in control again. I thought, because he looked away, I thought he was still part of the cutscene. Oh, she knows my other self. I'm so glad you're safe. I heard terrible things. Are you from the future? So, I thought... Am I not going to say anything to that? Not this again. <sighs> Please, stop making fun of me. That's not my name. If you aren't Juro Izumi, then who are you? My name is Kurabe. Juro Kurabe. We already talked about this the other day. You know, if they wanted to give him an alias when they erase his memories, they should have at least changed the Jiro part of his name as well. I mean, they probably want to keep the familiarity, but it's just... It's gonna end up in all these, like, confusing situations that are gonna resurface his memories again. Because then, if it was a completely different name and people were like, Oh, you're... Bob Izumi. <laughs> then he, he'd just be like, oh, they're just mistaking me for someone else. But it's like... Because it's Jiro Izumi, it's like, that's too much of a coincidence now. 
Kurabe. How are your injuries? I heard you were in a pretty bad car accident. Take it easy, okay? Since she's not around, I'll just leave the surveys on her desk. I'm sure she'll see them when she gets back. Miss Morimura's desk. Last time I was here, I saw those creepy documents about me. Miss Morimura, last time I was here. Okay. You got nothing more to say? Whoa, you're still here? Shibakun, what's up? I couldn't find Amiguchi anywhere, so I thought I'd come looking for you. Well, guess that's that. Let's call it a day and go home. So when their name is all like pink purple, it means I'm done talking to them. Are you all right? No, I'm not. And neither are you. Uh, creepy. Why does it say that I have something to consider? Wait, the terrible dream is new, right? That dream was awful. I was going around killing students. And I was super buff! I so many. Like Fuyusaka-san. And Yakushiji. Freaking Amiguchi. You're not getting away from me tomorrow. That's it? Okay. Oh, there's more there too. Izumi. So I, ne I need the word Izumi. I can probably get that from another branch. Okay, so... Yeah, so... There must, there's something else I could do at the cafeteria. Interact with Fuyusaka in the classroom. Oh, so if I... So if I tell if I tell him I have the stack of papers, but then I go back to the classroom. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe we'll we'll try to finish like all his branches for a bit, then we'll do some battles. Grab my bag. News, Jiro. Let me get. I think. Thanks for making my call. Let's grab. Can I talk to? Oh, Usami-chan. You know, Fuyusaka's not in the classroom. I'd love to, but I've kind of got somewhere to be. What if I give him the stack of papers now? Wait, oh, I don't have it yet. The paper. Miss Morimura for. Usami-chan. Okay, I'll let you borrow. Are you okay? Sorry, Shibakun. I have to drop off these papers. But you're just fine, right? Again? Jeez. I'm worried about you. Well, just meet me at the front gate when you're done. In the meantime, there she is. Oops. So I got rid of her. Got rid of him, and I need to talk to her. I have plans. Hey guys, I'm just gonna join in your conversation. Okay, that's a little creepy. If you're looking for him, I just saw him by the vending machines. The break area? Yeah. So the girl with the the, I gotta get going. the flowers holding her hair. This girl, I she's not a too. playable character See either. Later. Bye. Even though we've seen her interacting with the others. Can I talk to you now? I guess. Hey. Something up? You're staring. Well, maybe not here. Let's go out to the hall. I'm glad the flowchart gives me hints on what to do, because otherwise I don't think I'd figure all of these out. Where are you? Karabekun, over here. 
What's going on, Fuyusaka-san? Well, um... You know that dream you were telling me about? The one where I shot you? The truth is... It's... Real. It actually happened. So it must not be that dream. What do you mean? It must be a different one. What was that dream about again? Uh, you don't remember? Well, I have so many of them, you, you see. You just mentioned it again last week. You I, know, the one about the shootout? I kind of dream every night. Shootout? Something about taking refuge in a harbor. But you ended up getting shot and captured. I was the only one who managed to escape. Oh, yeah. In order to prevent killer robots from being invented... A factory got blown up, right? You remember now? I didn't know you were into action movies. That's the plot of Exterminator 2, right? <laughs> I almost forgot. That's Terminator. <sighs> so you don't remember after all? Of course I do. That movie is a masterpiece. I'm not talking about a movie. This is something that actually happened. And it wasn't just a dream, either. Mm. I can present all these different movies to her. There's so much intrigue to the plot, like there's so many loose ends and I just keep unraveling more and more. I want to see it come together, but we're just starting off so it's going to take a while. Does that mean UFO Wars is real too? There is a UFO. It's beneath us. Oh. No way. It's just like the movie, isn't it? We're going to ride that UFO and fight off enemies. No. That's what the Sentinels are for. Sentinels? Giant robots. They were created to defeat the Kaiju. Oh. See, again, it's like, whichever whichever character I'm playing as is clueless about everything going on. And the other characters know everything. And then when I play as them, they're the clueless ones, and everyone else knows everything. Because of this weird timeline. If you love movies that much, you should check out this drama series. What's it about? It's an episodic show where the story plays out in different ways each time. In this one... An alien seeks refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. You've never seen it before? That was a real event. It took place on Sumire Bridge in the year 2089. Now that you mention it, that scene did look like it was shot at Sumire Bridge. You're not going to say anything that you mentioned 2089? I was the only one there. You never made it, Kurabe kun No. That's not true. So all these movies are real? I was there. What? You and I were transmitted together. Wait, what, what? Wait, your memories are what? Wait, what? What is going on? I thought they were just making fun references to all these different movies, but like they're somehow like actually implementing them into the plot. What about this one? Is it real too? If the Daimo showed up in real life, I don't know. I think it'd be pretty awesome. Well, lucky you. You'll be seeing plenty of them soon. Huh? Daimos is the general name for them. But there are many different types. Some as big as a truck. Some bigger than a whole building. That series is really cool. It featured all kinds of different kaiju. You're so interesting, Fuyusaka-san. Don't you already know all this? You're the one who told me about it. Remember when we were cleaning up the science room? You said you saw a shootout from the future in your dreams. Cleaning up the science room. Issues in the science room. Now that I think about it... Hmm... Oh, there's a I've handed you the key. Goto. Be sure not to misplace it. Renya Goto, second year. Popular with all the ladies. 
a snob. When you're done cleaning, be sure to lock up. Then return the key to Miss Morimura. Understood? Yes. Then if you'll excuse me. Sorry for the trouble. Okay, there's not much left to do. Let's get this over with. I'll wash the equipment over there. Could you put the beakers back on the shelf? I don't know about you, but this science room looks pretty clean. I'm hungry, man. Cleaning duty sucks ass. Then clean Shoot, faster. Kinda. Stop complaining and get to work. Did you say something? You were mumbling. Speak clearly, please. Just... It's Saturday. Kinda sucks to be doing cleaning duty. Rules are rules. Just deal with it, okay? You seem totally different than the Fuyusaka that we've encountered before. Goto-senpai is so mature. It's hard to believe he's just a high schooler like me. Isn't Goto-senpai responsible? No wonder he's so popular. Really? I mean, he seems cool, true. But I don't know, when I was growing up, people that were responsible were generally not the people that you considered popular. <laughs> Are you done with the beakers? I'm getting to it. They go on this shelf. They pick up this one too while I'm at it. Cleaning is just so boring. Well, I can't put it back on the shelf. It won't let me. Where should I put this? Beakers go in the big cabinet in the back. Guess it goes in here. Yeah, next to all the other beakers. That would make sense. This one too. That's all of them. We came in on a Saturday just to put away two beakers and wash some things. Finish with the beakers? All that's left now is sweeping up. <sighs> what is it? <sighs> What's gotten into you? Is there something on my face? <sighs> Sorry. I was just thinking about the woman from my dream last night. I think it was you, Fuyusaka-san. Me? In your dream? You were dressed in all black. Strong, commanding, and honestly, pretty attractive. Wait, is he talking about Mori Mira from the future? <sighs> You're just talking about the dream, right? She has a passing resemblance to Fuyusaka. What happened in it? It's kind of embarrassing to talk about. Or is that just because they both have the same color hair and like the characters are kind of designed in a way that they're they don't have too many like super unique features? The apocalypse was coming. Also Shiba's just kind of standing. We had to go back in time. In the back. And blow up some sort of facility. But that got us in some trouble. Thanks to the bombing, the cops came after us. It came down to a shootout. And the two of us got separated. Oh, so I was a criminal. Well, kind of. It was a just cause. Uh-huh. Well, that does sound exciting. I'm curious to hear how it ends. Oh, yeah? I can keep going. That's more Mira. Show me. It's nothing. I had a misstep too. I failed to kill one of the researchers. The deed is done, though. The entire facility's been destroyed. Was he just mistaking Mori Mira for good. Fuyusaka? The interstellar development project was sent back to square one. Do you think we've changed the future? Sure hope so. If not, then we'll have killed all those innocents for nothing. I'd like to believe they haven't died in vain. <laughs> what 
patrol boat. They're on to us. I'll handle this. You go on ahead. This wasn't part of the plan. I can barely walk. So what? You want me to abandon you here? You just need to make it through today. Remember? So is Fuyusaka also Morimura, or is he just mistaking her? I still need to get the Izumi keyword. Okay, well, there must be something else to do with the cafeteria. Sure. News. Let me guess. I think. Thanks for making my cool. Let's grab. Wait, but I just told him he was at the break area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Like, am I not allowed to go to the cafeteria now? Hey, if we're going to the schoolyard, that's the long way around. Let's use the other stick. Hey, if we're going to this, let's. There's no cafeteria thing. We've got to get to the if we're too slow. But now he now he just always tells him that he's in the break area. How do I go to the cafeteria now? What's up with the yakisoba pond lately? Okay. They're always sold out. Talk to these guys. There's a guy who buys shitloads of them. Wait, I could. This is new. In my dream. A woman and I went back in time to prevent the extinction of humanity. To do that, we had to blow up some sort of research facility. And, well, we did it. And if that weren't enough, we shot the researchers dead. The woman I was with in that dream looked eerily similar to Fuyasaka-san. No, she looked eerily similar to Miss Morimura. <laughs> I talk to Okino. No. Nope. Then how do I go to the cafeteria now? Maybe I need some of these keywords from other people's story scenes. There's one more thing I could do if I get rid of Shiba, though. Like, if I just keep... I keep going this way. Oh. Oh. My favorite drink is sold out. Okay, you know are you gonna help us? Okay, no. It says it's out of change. Never seen that before. If I could, if I continue down this, I'm just gonna end up in his apartment. Hey, Karabe, are we on for? Uh. I got somewhere to oh, be. Oh, you're saying something different. Uh, well, all right. Sorry, man. No, I'm sorry for asking all the time. Can I talk to you? What a bummer. After all that, you think I'm gonna cry? You? Go home. Wait, that's it? But that... 
That led to nothing. <laughs> okay, um... I get rid of Shiba, there's one other thing I can do. Yes, I think... Thanks for making my look cool. Let's grab... Oh, yeah. The papers. Oh, Miss Morimura for... I never finished like reading that. on our way home? I'd love to, I'll let you borrow it. I've kind of got somewhere to be. Sorry, shiba okay. I have to drop off these papers. Again? We'll just meet me at the front gate. In the meantime, I'll go hunt down Amiguchi. Usami-chan, you've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You so, seem kind of stressed out. Hmm, what if I talk to Yakushiji since uh, Shiba's not around? Oh. Chiro, you'll be home for dinner, right? I'll cook something for you. Hey, watch what you're saying. We're still at school. For tonight, I'm thinking Hamburg steak. Your favorite. <laughs> Knock it off. If people find out we're living together, We'll be expelled from school. Hmm, is that so? I don't mind. Well, I do mind. So please. Sorry, sorry. It's our secret, I know. I'll be a little more discreet. <sighs> Wait. Don't stay out too late. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for you. There's nothing more to say. I liked Yakushiji in yesterday's, yesterday's episode. She had a really interesting, like, backstory going on for her. But then in this episode, she's so... Waifu. And... <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, being her character. Jeez. It feels awkward going home like this. I'm gonna be restless all night. We're just teenagers. We can't be living together already. What is she thinking? Just showing up at my place and treating me like this? Like, why is she staying with her? Oh, okay, there we go. Like, she must have given him a reason. Surely she didn't blackmail me as well. That's strange. The front door was unlocked. She broke in. I hope there wasn't a break in. You're... you're from my school, right? I think we're in the same... <gasps> oh. It's been 40 years. I've missed your touch. 40 years? What? But... Hold on, back up. What are you doing in my house? I'll be renting a room starting today. My name is Megumi Yakushiji. Hello there. You're joking, don't, right? Don't lead with the 40 years I and then... I spoke with your landlord, Tamao Karabe. Oh, the, what, you talked to Granny? She gave me this rental agreement. What? My grandma? I've already moved in my furniture. What? Jeez. I mean, yeah, there was an empty room. And she said she was planning to rent it out, but... I didn't expect it to be a girl from school. <sighs> what were you thinking, Grandma? <sighs> There's no way. I can't do this. Grandma's going to be out this whole month. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That means it's just the two of us here. If the school finds out, we're going to be expelled. Well, that wouldn't be so bad. Hey, stop. What? Stop saying it's not bad that I get expelled. Anyway, I need to get started on dinner. As thanks for letting me stay with you, I'll be taking care of your meals. I hope you like it. Hey, wait! Oh, hi, Miss Morimura. Or should I say, Kurabe -kun? older Fuyusaka? Huh? Miss Morimura? What's the matter? You seem deeply concerned.
Okay, I was about to say, does this entire path end with me not giving the stack of papers to her? Because I just took them to get rid of Shiba. Okay, but then... If... In the future... Megumi fell in love with Izumo. And then... Izumo had to do something and get his memory erased. And then she went back to the past... To see... Him now as Karabe. She said there were 40 years... Is that why she's acting different? Is because she's actually like her older self in her younger body? I mean, I guess the game will explain it as we go, but. You forgot these again. Oh my! Sorry for the trouble. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Kurabe kun. Well, that saves me a trip. Now, I wonder if Shiba kun was able to find Amiguchi kun. That girl, she always stands a little too close to me. It's awkward. I get really self-conscious all the time. How am I supposed to interact with her? So, what do you plan to do? Yakushiji. I've gotten permission from Morimura. I see. Even if that's the case, it isn't looking good. Why are you guys having a private conversation? A with Juro's condition. In the stairwell. Can't let it continue as is. In the front gate. You still plan on using him, don't you? When your voices are echoing. You can't. I won't let you. Please. Let him be free of the Sentinel. As of now, he's the only one who can fight. I can't promise anything. I recognize the position you're in. You harbor feelings for him, correct? But you must understand that he is no longer the Izumi you knew. Izumi? Oh, this is where I get the keyword. Kurabe. You would do well to consider him an entirely different person. The new personality is not stable. Don't disregard the danger this may put you in. Is that in. why I keep having weird dreams? Juro will recover. I'll make sure of it. Even if we erase the personality of Juro Kurabe... What? It would be a futile effort, as I've already explained. Izumi's memory is gone. There is nothing left. You're a difficult one. <laughs> this is for your own good. So she's disobeying Morimura's Just advice. Me. To leave him alone. You must return to Shikishima. And what if I say no? How does the cat fit into all this? You're a difficult one. <laughs> this is for your Wait, own he, good. They're just gonna repeat it. Okay. Just let me be. <sighs> Karabe. <laughs> Juro. How long have you been listening? Maybe you shouldn't have private conversations in the stairwell here. Goodbye. Okay, what was that about? Izumi. Haven't I heard that name before? I think Shinonome Senpai called me that. Oh, and I saw it at the nurse's office too. There was a document labeled Juro Izumi. Who is Izumi? Uh, I'll cook one of your favorite meals tonight. Don't change the subject. So please. Don't distract me with Hamburg steak. Come right home, okay? No eating out. <sighs> I'm a different person. Juro... Izumi? <laughs> That's ridiculous. And yet... Why do I have this sinking feeling? It's like... The one Yakushiji has feelings for isn't me. It's... Izumi. 
Hmm. I'm 50% done his story. Look, the, the trophy had Shiba's picture in it. Okay. Hmm, so, like, okay. The real, this really is all his story is? I mean, 50% means there's still a fair amount left. Okay, we need to... Bad news, let me guess. I think... Thanks for making my luck cool. We need to get the papers. The paper? Miss Mori Mori. Oh, yeah, almost Before forgot. Time. I never finished reading this. Stack of papers. Sorry, Shiba Kun. I have to drop the. Again? Well, just meet me at the front. In the meantime, I'll. Oh, no. They're always sold Look out. too fast. I heard there's a guy who buys shitloads of them. Guess Miss Moore. Shinonome Senpai. He's a Mikun? Like how they went through the trouble of showing her shoes were on the floor, and then she got out from the bed, and then she slipped her shoes on. That's kind of a neat. They put a lot of little extra details into some of these animations. Izumi, haven't I heard that name before? I think she. Wait, oh, no, this oh, is the same thing. There was a. I'm so glad you're safe. I heard tip so. Senpai, my name is Kurabe, Juro Kurabe. That's right. Yes, I remember. So you know him too? Juro Izumi? <sighs> Juro Izumi is you. But right now? You've been given a different personality. You're just gonna tell me right out. Given? By who? The two of us lost our memories after a certain incident. We suffered serious mental trauma. Especially you. I heard that you had it worst of all. But I'm not so well off either. My memories keep disappearing. What if she's an alternate Megumi? I'm not sure if I'll even remember this conversation. She has the same color hair, which is a good of an indicator as any in this game. What was this incident? It happened in the future. But you received medical treatment here, back in the past. The future? No way. It's true, and you're Jiro Izumi. So, let me get this straight. Juro Izumi came from the future. He lost his memories due to some incident. And the damage was so bad he needed a whole new personality. That's how he became... me. Juro Kurabe. It's so hard to believe. But if it's true, that would explain why I kept feeling like something was off. Hmm. You see, like, for some reason... <laughs> I'm not so worried about the whole, like, personality changes and the traveling to the future and to the past. I'm more interested in, like, how are their bodies changing? Because when they go in the future, sometimes they're older, but sometimes when they go in the past, they become young again. But sometimes when they go back in the future, they're still young. This is crazy. Honestly, it's really hard for me to believe. I don't blame you. This is... Honestly, it's... I don't blame you. Since she's not around, I'll just leave the surveys on her desk. I'm sure she'll see them when she gets back. Huh. They're gone. Last time, she had documents on Juro Izumi here. I guess she put them away. She's in on it. See, I almost wish that... 
Like, he's discovering all these things, but we kind of already knew this because of other people's story paths from the prologue. I wish that more of it was already hidden from us, so we were discovering some of it at the same time as him. I think that would have made it more intriguing. Although there's still a lot we don't know. Whoa, you're still here? Shibakun, what's up? I couldn't find Amiguchi anywhere, so I thought I'd come looking for you. Well, guess that's that. Let's call it a day and go home. Freaking Amiguchi. You're not getting away from me tomorrow. Oh. Unlock condition. Protagonist with story progress at 30% or over 9. Okay, so I can't do the rest of his story yet. Let's do some battles. Okay, so we're still on normal difficulty. Let's try... So we finished the tutorial, so this is our first kind of real battle. First area, Ashitaba City. Oh, jeez. This is new. For the next assault, we will form and deploy two squads. One to launch an attack, and one on defense. Jeez. With this few people? What's the point of splitting us up? Yeah, why don't we all just gang up and beat the crap out of them? No. We need to focus on protection. The kaiju are going to try to burrow underground to attack the terminal. If they get that far, then the sentinels won't be enough to stop them. This is the only way we can stop them. We cannot allow even a single one through. If they manage to get past our defense squad, then our battle really will be over. We need to balance our priority between defense and directly neutralizing the invasion force. Fine. My place is in the offensive line. You guys just hang back and watch me kick their shit in. Your units will have a hard time dealing with aerial enemies. But we can predict the kinds of dimos we'll be seeing in the oncoming waves. We should probably build our offensive team based on what we know they'll be up against. Tutorial attack. In battle, the strike team fights on the front lines. The defense squad intercepts enemies. Pilots on the defense squad are positioned directly around the terminal and automatically fight with their defensive armaments. So I don't directly control the defense people. Assign the 13 pilots onto either the strike team or the defense squad. Select a pilot with the d-pad, then press X to assign. Press X to deploy. Finished. Jeez, there's so much information here. Okay, so, many ground kaiju will appear. So if they're ground, like, is there a recommended list? Okay, so he's, he's melee. You're, like, the jumpy kind. I wish I could click on the, the skills go. here and remind myself what they, what they do. I got this. Okay, you are the invasion ends here. also a jumpy person. Ready. You're physical. I'll you, go. you get the sentry gun. Understood. You're long range, I need you. Understood. You're also long range. No problem. Maybe I'll just take one of each type of person. Got it. These two are kinda I got this. They're also long range. You know what? I'll just go with what they gave me. Right now? Sort of. 
This is one of the meta systems we managed to analyze. Basically, we can use those meta chips you earn in battle. With those, we can make some serious improvements to our armaments and the Sentinels themselves. You might even be able to make some brand new armaments on the fly. That's amazing, Okino. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, I haven't even tested it yet. I didn't have a way to confirm it. But hey, no time like the present. So let's give it a try. I hope we don't break it. I can only do it on him for now. Try unlocking a new armament and equipping it onto a sentinel. Select a pilot. Switch between arms customization and pilot info. Press X to unlock arms. Triangle to upgrade arms. So I know these three already. This one ignores armor. This is flares. Okay, so then these ones I can't get yet. Okay. I kinda just want piercing. We don't what's enhance? Oh, so I can okay. I can choose whether to use my chips to enhance a skill or unlock a new skill completely. Let's unlock a new skill first. How many- where's my- okay. My currency is in the bottom behind my portrait. Behind my VTuber, okay. And I do I can do this for multiple people, okay. And a lot of these are skills that other people already have, so I'm already familiar with what they do. Maybe I should just unlock new skills for everyone, just so that they're a little bit more Ooh, enables all level two terminal functions, armament upgrades. These are like the special skills I can only use like once or twice a fight. Let's upgrade first. I do like leap attack. Let's get leap attack. Can I rearrange these? I want to put them so that the cheaper ones at top. She already has a long range, so I don't think I need this. I think that's that's all I need for now. Actually, let's upgrade score achieved during battles multiplied by two. That I mean, this is a, an investment. If I get this earlier, then I'll get more score, right? Upgrades this. I think I'll I'll buy these anyways because these seem like they might be good in the future.
upgrading the meta system level, you gain access to new armaments and meta skills. Various additional effects are also unlocked and enhanced. Balance is key when creating a strong team. So this is another part of the meta systems? This is a really impressive find. You're telling me these sentinels can be even more powerful? Do we really have time for this? Um, I'm still not sure if I get it. Yeah, maybe this shit'll make sense once I actually get to punch something. That should be enough. Even if there's something we forgot, there's no turning back now. Yeah, let's get going. Okay. Since I just upgraded Hijiyama, I will put I him in. I'll take Ogata off. Wait, I'm on it. You know leap attack now, so you might be marginally My turn. more useful. But you're the only person that can put up a sentinel. Moving out. Or a sentry. Okay, let's just go with it. Whatever. We'll figure this out as we go. You know what else is weird? At any rate, that would be the mech's nerve connection. The pain is because your nerves aren't used to it yet. It's the fact that you're all still naked in your robots. The pilot seat will help condition your body. Eventually, you won't even notice it anymore. Well, a force of 13 sentinels makes a formidable team, even accounting for the pilot's inexperience. But the assaults are gonna be a lot worse than the one on Sector 3. You're kidding. It'll be even worse than the attack on my city? Warning. Daimo signatures identified. Enemy in range. They're here. Eyes up, everyone. So the characters that are on defensive aren't even in... ...aren't even, like, on the field. The, there's a flare. Wait, what's this? What is this? It looks like it's coming from the sky. That doesn't reach them. What is this? Stay on guard. Just move you closer. Gonna be okay. Definitely. Gotta keep my spirits up. I want to move everyone over here and then have an enemy come from the other side, but... What next? The practice round's over. What is this? Should I be worried about that? What next? You're my melee dude, and you got a... armor piercing. So, we'll move you closer. Yeah, got it rough. Fast. 
What is this? Is that another enemy? Oh, I think it's another enemy coming in. That's what it is. More enemies spawning. They're finished. How's that? Yeah. Hey, okay. We have more enemies are landing over here. Just watch. How's that? Get down. That easy. What now? Right, I like that attack because it also moves. The, the leap attack and that attack are good. It, it seems to move him instantaneously too because he's a flying unit. Maybe I should put a sentry down. This might be useful. I'll, I'll help him. We're fine. How's this? They're on me. I can keep it together. Red range. Oh geez, there's two big dudes now over here. Let's do the heavy the heavy shot. Hit! Take that! Huh? Hit. What's next? Now we only have one big dude. The area is glowing very red though. I'm gonna get hit by a bunch of things. Okay, but the defense piercing is so good against the big guys. Okay. Well, there's no more enemies over here. Where's the heat signatures coming from? Okay, over there. Damn, Kaiju! Got it! Kaiju down! That I'll make it work. They're finished! Yes! Try again. What's optimal? That's the only thing left, right? It worked! I did it? Termination of enemy signals confirmed. Aegis activated. Terminal closure complete. Surrounding 2 kilometer area now fully secure. Ending technical analysis.
doing all right. We did it. Oh, they get XP. What about my defense characters? Do they get XP? We're gonna have to juggle the round, like how much I use them. Hey, Fuyasaka barely did it. She put down a she put down a, a sentry gun, and then she didn't have a turn for like a really long time. But that sentry gun pulled up so much weight that she got MVP. Even though uh, Hijiyama did most of the punching on the big dudes. Hey, mystery points! Mystery points acquired in destruction are used to unlock sealed mystery files in analysis. Do I do another fight or do, should we do more story first? Mm. Let's do one more fight. During a win streak, you receive a score bonus based on the number of battles you fought in a row. You also receive mystery points based on a total score. So if I, if I stop the fight and go and do a, a story sequence, does that break my streak as well? Because then I might as well just keep fighting. But... Pilots who join the strike team will experience brain overload. When a pilot's brain overload reaches the maximum, they won't be able to participate in the next battle. Be mindful of the brain overload gauge located above their portrait. The streak will end when you recover with the team organization... With, with the square on the team organization screen. Keep an eye on the health of your pilots and aim for a high score. Also, I like, I'm gonna go into the next fight without healing, is what they're telling me. Right? What if I just swap out? Wait, let's let's roll. I'll handle this. So I hear you're flying. Oh, it says, it says the name of their type next to their name. So I don't need to figure that out myself. Melee, 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 all rounder. Long range flight support. Okay, so wait, you two go dip, go away for a bit. Let's go. We'll put you I two in. Okay, long range. Understood. Who else has? Who else has today. sentry guns? Let's go. Okay, got it. No one. Maybe I can buy it. You can you can learn sentry gun. Sentry gun is pretty good. I forget to equip it. Multi-lock missiles is a good move. You can also learn sentry. So Understood. You can be my sentry person. Let's go. Another long range person or another melee? Let's take a long ranger. Okay. Well, this is odd because there's 13 characters, but you only bring a party of six. So even if I switch everyone in and out, there's always going to be one person that's missing out. That just makes it annoying to juggle. Wait, no. Bonus objectives: Fuyusaka on the strike team. Clear without a sense of being. Okay, so I should bring Fuyusaka with me. She's going to get go. brain overload after this, so that's fine. Actually, if I have her, I don't need a second sentinel user. I could bring another melee. Fine. 
I don't really like melee, though, in this game. Yet. I know it's usually the Kiro thing to enjoy melee. Let, let's try this for now. Let's see how this goes. Actually... Okay, let's go. Juro and and uh, Amaguchi and Fuyusaka. I'm trying to remember their names. Their stories are all about having their dreams, but is everyone really having these dreams? And it's just those three that really talk about it. Thanks. My turn now. Maybe I should get someone else to go first. Let's put down the sentry gun early. This will be useful. It looks like most of the enemies are coming from this way. Lend us a hand. How's the sentinel? We will not lose. You're a flyer, so this is your your thing. See, she doesn't even need to spend time moving. She just instantly teleports there. My turn now. Stay calm. Remember your training. They don't stand a chance. What's the plan? Okay. What's... Still not used to this thing. You're also aerial. Don't let up. Okay, I just have my melees left. Here goes. That work? <laughs> Did I get it? They're like any other punks. Okay. What now? Number 10, How's moving the out. Don't let up. Number 11, moving out. I won't give up. Let's do this. Yes. They won't get past me. What's the plan? Like, these aerial units have so much mobility. Here you go. How's that? You picked a fight with the What's wrong the plan? girl. How's the Sentinel? Actually, let's move you back in. Number 11. More me, huh? What's our plan? Target confirmed. I hate Don't let up. Okay, they're landing over here. My turn now. We gotta intercept. They're coming here. Number 11. I'll try it out. No point overthinking it. Number 10, moving out. What's the plan? Sentinel I number need to 11. think things through. Okay, let's do this. Number, number 21, 
Reloading. You can just defend, so you can put down another sent another sentry. Fights by now. Sentinel number ten. Defensive Still not used to this thing. Sentinel number twenty-one. We must survive. Defensive mode active. They haven't landed yet, so I don't want to do anything. I won't give up. Maybe I shouldn't have had everyone defending because it takes time. Did I get it? No. Damn, got you. How's the sentinel? But they're all dead now. My turn now. Number eleven, oh moving out. Down another sentry over here. Lend us a hand. They're like any other punks. Class is in session. This could get out of hand. Okay. What's the plan? Oh dang. Nice. Say your prayer. No room for hesitation. What's the plan? Like the melee units really can't do anything against the no flying room. dudes moving out right now the way I have them. Hit any of these. So I need to teach my melee guys something to EMP the flyers. I ought to be used to fights by now. There's more of them, there's so many. Okay, I'm gonna move you so you're ready to take on these guys. Put, what if I just keep putting down sentries? No room for hesitation. The sentries are really good. Don't waste any chances. Number eleven. Moving no out. fight, I can't win. Okay, there is a there's a distance limit to these anti-air things, but Take that. you basically teleport. That's what I. Huh. Everything else takes time Destroyed. to move. Okay, what now? Number two. Not throwing away my shit. 
shot. Here we go. Take that! Termination of enemy signals confirmed. Okay. You didn't take too much damage. Negumi took a little bit, but that's okay. Aegis activated. Terminal closure complete. Surrounding 2 kilometer area now fully secure. Ending tactical analysis. Eef, what a mess. At least this area is okay now. Ugh. My head's been really hurting for a while now. Is something going wrong? Ugh. Now that you see that, mine's pounding too. Something messing with our heads. That's the operating limit of your Sentinel. You'll feel better once you're out. Piloting the Sentinel is an intensely demanding process. Using it puts massive pressure on your brain. You can't remain deployed for extended periods, or you start getting backlash. Don't overdo it. I'm not responsible if you end up decoupling your brain from your nanomachines. Yeah, see, that's that's the nanomachines again. you get out of the Sentinel right now, unless you want to forget your entire life. They all have nanomachines. Not exactly a user-friendly robot. Let's get out of these, Fuyusaka. Y yeah. Guess we pushed them back. Saki Gahara did Come like on, no guys. damage to we anyone. <laughs> Fuyusaka, level 5 pilot skill, gotta stay calm acquired. S rank, nice. I feel like I need a brain overload break from the fighting. Okay, let's go back to story mode for a little bit. Okay, so... Yusaka... See, I was interested in Megumi, but then now she's kind of weird. I'm interested in Sekigahara's story. Who's Nenji Ogata? I'm interested in these two as well, but... Oh, destruction first area, Ashitaba City Wave 2 cleared. So I just did that, so I can unlock this. Let's go. Sure, let's do Shu. Let's see where we- oh, I guess this chart doesn't have anything. Cool. Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Oh well, yeah. The... Wish that was just a dream. We're not going to talk about that. This weird conversation with the person through the TV. My motorcycle's a Shikishima GRD250. I woke up late this morning, so I came to school by bike. But I've got it parked off in the shopping district. That way, the school can't get on my case about it. Man, she's cute. A bombshell like that, sending those curry guys to the hospital? I've never met anyone like her before. But here's a thing for Yuki. I just might have fallen for her. Yuki Inaba. She's a celebrity, a pop star. <laughs> Who'd believe me? Hey, so I've been talking to this pop star through my TV. Well, what'd she say? I want to know. <sighs> yeah, no. No easy way to drop that bomb. They'd have me committed. It's kind of funny how 
all these like story segments are happening just in the school. Like we're we're all fighting robots, protecting the world, traveling to the future, traveling to the past, and yet all the story, character development, and the plot development is just happening on regular school days. Hey, welcome to the stream. Oh, no problem. Yeah, good luck in good luck in raid. I know they just released the Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker Savage raids this week, so a lot of people are starting raid up again. Best of luck to you. Thanks for dropping by. So I can go into this classroom or that classroom. Yuki-chan's supposed to be in class 1A. No sign of her though. Am I just looking for Yuki? I don't see Karabe-kun. I wanted to talk about my dream. Might be out in the passageway. So, Karabe is always spending his time looking for Shu, and Shu is always looking for Juro. Oh, it's her. If only they had cell phones. She's in 1B, same class as Karabe-kun. She's not even my type, but I can't get her out of my head. It must be from all those dreams. Hey, it's me. I didn't offend you or anything, did I, Sawatari-san? Amikuchi-kun remembers my name! Right, she has a crush on him. I remember Tomi-chan, too. Why bother remembering me? I never get a girl's name wrong. <sighs> She's like, oh, Miwako, I've had enough with you. What do you see in this guy? Come on, let's go. I like Tomi. Let me, let me run with you. <sighs> Goodbye. Kurabe-kun might be waiting for me. Anything else to do here? Nope. <sighs> Kurabe-kun might be waiting for me. I should get going. BJ! Oh, and Mira. I guess you're here too. Hey, Mira kun. I'm Gucci kun. You know, despite Mira being a playable character, he also doesn't have a story select route. At least not yet. Just like uh, Goto as well. And Shinonome. I'm not gonna say anything about the weird robot he has with him. It's so cute though. You still on the run? I can't go home. Even if I could, it wouldn't solve anything. Look, you don't have to tell me any details if you don't want to. But it sounds like a pretty rough situation. Well, for what it's worth, you can crash at my place whenever you need to, okay? I owe you a debt of gratitude for all Yet he you've goes done. and crashes with Jiro. I'll be alright. I'm staying with an acquaintance now. Oh yeah? Glad to hear it, man. So, uh, what is this thing? Uh, well, this is... Don't forget your promise! It talks? Whoa! An RC robot? That's crazy. Is it yours? Not exactly. Deja vu. Oh, yeah. I feel like I had a dream about something like this. You were in it too, Mirakun. Maybe that's your big secret, huh? You're some runaway hero from a ruined future, here to save us all. Ha 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 ha, if only that were true. <laughs> My dreams are always somewhere in the future. But I feel like I know everyone I keep seeing in them. Well, maybe I really am just dreaming. Makes more sense than them being premonitions. I don't know if that could really be our future anyway. Everything in them is way too crazy. Even that dream. Not yet. 
She's in 1B, same class as Karabe-kun. She's not even my type, but I can't get her out of my head. Must be from all those dreams. Eh, bad joke. Just been having some crazy dreams lately, I guess. Maybe I am from the future. Jeez, you didn't take me seriously, did you? Anyway, if something big happens, you can always talk to me. Hope things start getting better for you soon, man. Thank you. Well, I guess the only thing left is to recall the dream. Was that drone scouting for the kaiju? Hope they didn't find us. Kisaragi-san? There was this great cake shop on the first floor here. And they had this pear tart. It was amazing. No. Even my own apartment. It's all ruined. All gone. Are you gonna be okay? Sorry, just had to get that out. I gotta stay strong. Oh, my, my voice is all scratchy from crying all day. You sound good to me. And scratchy or not, I'd still tune in to see you. You're such a dork. Let's try to get to the cross-country road. We might see a rescue copter flying around or something. What, up there? The only things flying around are the weird bug things. Nobody's here to help us. Even online, nothing's getting updated. I think it's like this around the whole world. Those things erased everybody. Like how everyone in the city just vanished at once. I saw it happen. I bet Mom and Dad were... That's the part I don't get. Whatever these big killer alien things are, they've clearly got us way outclassed in tech. They can wipe out whole crowds without a beam or anything. And still, with all that power, they come here in this gigantic horde. They dig these holes all over town, and then... they just stop. No carnage, they're just sitting there. Like they're waiting for something. <sighs> and us, we didn't get killed or vanish or anything. There's gotta be a reason for that, too. How are you still this calm? It's crazy that you can still keep it together. Even with all this stuff. I... I'm really not. Trust me, I'm freaking out too. <gasps> Look out! <sighs> you okay? Look, it was just a building collapsing over there. Oh, just a building collapsing. They didn't find us. No big deal. Yeah. <laughs> what? Are you falling for him you, too? You really changed. Back in middle school, you were a total nerd. Glasses and all. It just makes me wonder, why do you make such a big change to your image? Uh, oh, uh, well, funny story. I was listening to one of your streams and- Right, I keep forgetting she's, a, she's like a streamer. You kind of go for tough guys, cool guys. That's basically it. What? Oh, that's it? That's why you started trying to be such a badass? I guess I got the look down, but I couldn't walk the walk, huh? Wait, but in the present time, or in the non-dream world, you don't seem interested in Tomi, and then in this world you are very interested in Tomi. Come on. Seriously, this isn't the time for jokes. 
You were already popular enough back then. Why would you go that far just because I said... Well, you know fate? As in the letter F and number 8? What? That's... actually my username. His username's F8? What? All this time that's been you? Hey, it's not like I was keeping it a secret. Hey, they don't let you, you have usernames that are only two letters long. I only got so far because of him. That's why I started getting serious about my singing. Because he supported me. Told me I was a great singer. Well, you are a great singer. And I, um... I guess I always sort of had feelings for her. Over here! <gasps> oh, we're out of the talking. I can't believe it. There were other survivors. We came to rescue you. Morimura-san, they're over here! My name is Keitaro Miura. What about you two? I'm Tomi Kisaragi. I'm... So the drone found these two then? Now, who are you? We were just getting to that. Me? I'm Tetsuya Ida. Oh, that's right. In Juro's dream, he called him Ida. Yes. Oh. Okay, so so they do, we do get stories for all 13 of them. They just kind of get unlocked as we go. Okay, but we're not done with you yet. So I need to do something with the dream thought. All right. Man, I'm really all these weird and that show that wish that was just. Now, can we please talk about the part where he talked to the TV? This dream's probably way, way off in the future. Looked like it was in some kind of lab. Never figured she'd turn up. But that was her, Tomi Kisaragi. Some kind of lab? That was not a lab. Back in my dream. He called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... Hmm. It's weird. I keep seeing Kisaragi in my dreams. Except it's not exactly me. My name's Ida there. Just two people struggling to survive. Wonder if they're in love. My motorcycle's a... I woke up late, but I've got it parked that way this... What can I do differently? I need to use the dream keyword. Yuki chan's no sign it. I don't see Karabi. I wanted to talk. Might be out in the. Oh, oh this is different. Ouch. Ow. Oh, it's you. Sure. Huh? Ah! What are you doing? Huh. Oh. What the hell are you Ow. doing, you pervert? Do you think you can do anything you want just because you're popular? Look, I mean, I had this dream last night. Yeah, you could have explained before I you. Just had to make sure you actually had a belly. Grabbed her belly. I'm sorry. What? Wait, were you grabbing her stomach? Now you're calling me fat. What the hell is your problem? You are not as smooth as you make yourself out to be. I saw her hanging there. Or half of her at any rate. What? Hanging? Maybe it really was just a mess. Is this up a dream. different dream that you're talking about? I already know what Karabi kun would say. This is a different dream. I'm gonna lay off the splatter flicks. What? <sighs> Such a skis ball. What's with this guy? What?
Now what? If I go there, is I think it's gonna be different. I think that's the only thing I can do. Maybe I have to go talk to Karabe about my dream. Karabe, I should get going. So he had another dream that he didn't tell us about. Oh. Oh. You're not, Karabe. Hey, Fuyusaka. You the only one here? Hi, Amiguchi-kun. Karabe-kun's not here, huh? I had this dream. It's bugging me. I kind of wanted to talk about it. How about you, Amiguchi-kun? Yeah, my dreams have been crazy lately, too. Do you see robots, too? No... Well, okay, sure, yeah, they're kind of like robots. What kind of robots? Well, they were more like androids. I mean, you couldn't tell them apart from human beings. And I'm there in some kind of lab with all these androids? I know that place. I was there too, in my dream. The... Sixth biggest underground laboratory in Shikishima. Or something. That place is. underground? And I saw Usami chan there too. Tomi Kisaragi! Yeah, me too. It's gotta be the same place. Oh, right, she's got a nickname, I forgot. Okay, so. Because she said, you can call me Usami. Oh. And that should work okay. She's... Memory data is now ready. What? This is a very different... Wait, Tamao Krabi. That's Grandma. Can't sprint or run. So he was feeling her belly because he wanted to see if she was a robot? Son, I really don't know what I'd do without you. Don't worry, Ida Kun. You succeeded with me. I'm sure you'll do fine with her. Grandma's a robot. I'm sorry, I had to prioritize her. Don't worry, we'll get you a body too soon. I'm looking forward to it. Also, you are a lot taller, or maybe it's just a lab coat. I mean, you're older for sure, but. Let's begin. Initializing composition. The simulated personality and memories have been synchronized. You like his appearance older? Huh. There's a different different type of cool to him now. Please. Recognize me? Uh, Ida Kun? Hmm. Wait. Are you his older brother? Hmm. Did he even have a brother? It is you. He looks so. grown up. So, did something happen to them when they were younger and then she died and he's like older now and trying to bring her back as like a robot? I'm sorry it took so long. It took eight years, even with the technology underground. Hmm? I, I can't move. She's having trouble understanding her situation. I will inhibit her emotions to avoid a panic attack. Uh. Wait, is this a killer robot factory that Karabe and Fuyusaka took out in the other world? But in that one, it was in the past, but this is in the future. What's happening? Please listen. Try to stay calm. 
I analyzed your data from the records in Sector Zero. I found data for your old memories, your mind. And now I've transferred them into an android body. You mean I'm... I'm not... human? Am... I... Tamao-san, please turn up the sensitivity on those inhibitors. Kesaragi san you're like me now. An AI, based on memory data. You are constructed to think and act just like her. To be Tomi Kisaragi. You're still you. Uh. Let me try to calm her directly. Could you connect us? Do what you can. Please. What do I do? Okay. We've got a problem with the Sentinels, Itakun. See, everyone like ages, but then Morimura does not age at all in any situation. The Sentinels we thought were complete aren't responding. The Sentinels are working off of the same code base as the D series. So it has to be the D code control holding them back. Do you always have to stand like that? If we want to destroy that function, well. We need someone compatible to maintain direct access. Something wrong? No. Is this a bad time? No, everything's fine now. Yeah, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Reviving my dead girlfriend into a robot body, you know. The usual. She's calmed down. Really? What happened to the real me? Well... Please, be honest. You, you died. Juro killed you. You and the other kids. Oh, so this is continuing off of Juro's and dream. I him down. Wait, now we're just gonna hop back to here? Damn it. Oh, the, dream, dream the dream again. ended. Man, what time is it? No way I'm getting back to sleep after that. Let's talk to the TV. Wait, there's a thought bubble. So in that dream, my name's Tetsuya Ida. It looks like it takes place in the future. And Fuyusaka's apparently been seeing stuff in the same place. Huh. Is it because Fuyusaka is more mirror? I've seen things through Tetsuya Ida's eyes, but Fuyusaka. Actually, now that I think about it, the Ms. Morimura in my dreams looks pretty familiar. Yeah, she looks like Ms. Morimura. Reminds me of Fuyusaka. So Ms. Morimura looks like Fuyusaka in the dreams when she's wearing that suit, but in the present, she somehow does not resemble her. Hey. Um, you in there? Not coming out today? Hello? Nothing to see here, just a guy talking to his TV. Okay, maybe I'm just going nuts. I want to know how the rest of the conversation went. No, you're not. I'm glad you talked to me. Oh, hello. There you are. Hey, are we not going to discuss this? Like, what is going on? From the sounds of things. This might still take a while. Are you the real Miyuki Inaba? Or something else just wearing her face? There's only one Miyuki Inaba in the world. But whether this face is just a mask, it's hard to say. Now we're getting into Persona stuff. Sometimes a mask is all an idol has. Sometimes it's all they are. I know this is a normal TV set. It doesn't even do video phone stuff. Pretty sure I shouldn't be able to talk to someone through it. You yourself are the transmitter. The TV is just the receiver. This is the only way I can communicate with you. 
I was blocked by universal control. Universal control. The system denied me access. So I had to sneak in on this broadcast. Kind of over my head, but I guess the point is... You hijacked the airwaves, and that's how we're talking. You could say that. So is it relevant that she is also on TV when she communicates with him, or is it just a coincidence that her program happens to be playing when she contacts him? Why me, though? You're the only one I can find. More accurately, your ID is the only one I could locate. But even beyond that, I know I can depend on you. Is she somehow, like, an alternate Kisaragi? Because Kisaragi says she's like she sings right so it's it can't be a coincidence that this is also like a singer okay back up you said something would take a while what were you talking about it will take a while to help you understand understand what our situation <gasps> i'm being tracked i'm cutting the connection for now Hmm. Oh, now we're locked. Complete Natsuno Minami's Exterminator event. So I got these mystery points. Maybe let's start by how many points do I have? Six. I want to start by unlocking the characters. It's like nine characters here so far. Let's unlock a few of them at least. Let's do Okino. This is Granny. She's also the AI. Oh, Shiba has one. Oh, he has art! He seems to have a mysterious power. Hmm. Oh, so this, this one doesn't have like, full artwork, it's just a sprite. Okay, uh, BJ. Small, mysterious robot. 60 centimeters tall. Let's unlock Miss Morimira, too. She probably has art. What? She doesn't have art? Does her future self have art? Nope. The woman from Amaguchi's dream who looks like Miss Morimira, she also looks like the woman who appears in Jiro's dreams who looks like an Yori Fuisaka. Hmm. Okay, uh let's let's do a little bit more fighting. Okay, so there's there's still the same brain thing from before. Does that mean this still counts towards my streak? Okay, so you have to be... I'm sorry. Wait. I don't think I can do it. I'm sorry. I don't think I can do it. Wait, how do I... I'm trying to move you down to the defense team. Oh, no, I have to press... I have to press, uh... Square. Wait. All pilots will return to zero, but the following will reset. Wait, no. Can't I just put you on defense? Oh no, you're just- you're- even though your portrait is- oh no, your portrait is not raised, you are on defense, okay. You're on defense, but you're not actually on defense, okay. okay.
is you... Okay, you can't fight aerial enemies, so I need to give you this skill. Which will let you drop the aerial enemies to the ground. Uh, you're also melee. You need this. You know, this also... Wait, this drops aerial kaiju and distracts them. This one drops aerial kaiju... Just wait. Oh, this is a sentinel. This is a sentinel that... Wait, no, this is a sentinel localized one. Well, this one is just a pulse. I don't know which one's better. This one lasts for 10 seconds. Let's get the pulse first. Remember to equip it. Let's, let's upgrade Demolisher so I can have a better time killing the big dudes. Uh, let's, do, let's enhance the Sentinel while we're at it. Sentinel's good. Oh, Guardian is a decoy. That's kind of cool. Enhance Sentinel. I do like my long-range attackers. Let's upgrade the long-range missiles. Okay, let's, let's upgrade these as well. They might as well. Multi-lock missiles is good. This one ignores armor. Let's unlock it for these guys then. Giant all-rounder quad height kaiju will appear. So I need the people that have Not the Here goes. Let's go. the main battery heavy railgun, right? Wait, no. Is that the piercing one? No, it's not. Wait, no, that's this one. Main battery heavy railgun. Right? I thought that was the piercing one. Wait, no, it's the conversion laser. I'm there. Well, this I'll isn't fight. good. I got this. 
all three of my flyers are at half brain juice. No problem. Okay, so you're my long ranger. Yeah, I'll need two long rangers to fight the quad guys. Two aerials. We can pierce from a distance. I might need to recover after this, but that's fine. Wait, no, Kisaragi on the strike team. Okay, no, actually, I got that. Go. Okay. because they have four. It's basically just a huge crane though, right? Quad pod. Don't underestimate it. That thing's set with all kinds of weapons and defensive devices. The plasma cannon's what you need to watch out for. Sentinel armor doesn't stand a chance against it. But it's just a big dumb crane. Why'd they put all the weapons on it? Once they started facing resistance, they updated their designs, trying to match our own force. Wait, you mean those things only have weapons because the Sentinels showed up? Maybe. But we can still take them down. At least, we probably can. Keep it together. Everything will work out. How do you know that, Megumi? They're coming. Be careful. We're toast if we don't win here, right? So, let's get out there and fight back. Don't waste any chances. Gotta keep it together. So what now? Still not used to this thing. Let's see what we're up against. Okay, they're dropping some guys here, close by. Well, there's a lot of dudes. Maybe we should start by putting down a sentry. You can help protect us from whatever's coming this way. Need help. No fight, I can't win. hesitant to move you too far out because I don't want to move you away from the group, but you have the high power laser, so you'll be okay out here, I think. Number 21 on the How's move. the Sentinel? Still Stay calm. Same with you. You have the piercing laser. You can go out here. Actually, let's move you be like here so you can defend from the south as well. Number 20, moving out. Don't waste any chances. You're melee, you can't even take that route. Number 11, Let's moving go, out. Machino. Gotta do something. Gonna be okay. Definitely. Number 17, this is so hard. Within enemy threat range. You're like my long ranger, so... This is the thing that ignores armor. I need to pierce through the big dude. Here you go. Nice. I hope I can pull my weight. Range. My turn now. I'll let you just sit for a bit. So, GG's. what's my next move? I need support here. 
and here. Should have taken more long range. I'll let the sentinel take care of the small dudes. I need to whittle down the big guy. Your job is you're just gonna put down a bunch of sentries. Need help. Better put on a show for Yuki John. See, you're talking about Yuki, but you also like Kisaragi. Make up your mind, man. Actually, I'll help you take down this guy. Hold still. Bingo. Ow, ow, ow. Oh jeez, you guys are spawning right in front of me. Oh god. EMP. Actually, let's just blast him. Maybe yeah, I should have brought more melee. these guys first. Actually, I'll just finish off the big dude. Oh, he's not dead. Ah! Can't actually tell how much damage I'm taking right away, because... You just hear explosions going boom, 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 and you're looking at the health bars, but they're not really moving, so you're kind of like, am I okay? Should have brought more melees to take out these big dudes. Maybe I should concentrate on the small fry first. Nailed it. I got there on me. No room for hesitation. Move. Did that do it? Neutralized. What? It's all in range. What's the situation? Jeez. This guy. Here goes. So you like move instantaneously that? too when I, I use a move moving. like that. Can I catch these guys in the explosion? Not really. happening don't waste any chances see like when I first move to a character too the things on the field continue to move until I hit one of these no four commands once I do that then time actually stops I could use my triangle meta gauge attack but I kind of want to save it
What do you mean I can't hit this thing? Is it because it's flying? Who needs support? I cleared, up, I cleared out the bulk of them. I think I should be okay now. Nice. Give it up. Man, we've got it rough. <laughs> Nailed it. I got him. What's the plan? You're my heavy hitter. You need to go. Don't waste any chances. This. Oh, you can't walk any further. How's the sentinel? Number eleven, moving out. I'll stop them. Are we winning? Hold still. Nice. What's the plan? <laughs> How was that? <laughs> the target in the area. What's the plan? Enemy threat range. Die. Do it. You picked a fight with oh, the wrong girl. Give up. How's that? This isn't so hard. I'll show you. Should be the last of it. Termination of enemy signals confirmed. Nice. That was that was getting tougher. I should have. I thought the piercing laser would do more damage to the big dudes. But it doesn't do as much as a demolisher blade. Aegis activation confirmed. Damn it. The whole city's on fire. Yeah, my bad. Is that how this is gonna go? Whether we win or lose, we're ruining thousands of people's lives? We have evacuation measures in place, but they're far from perfect. And the efforts still lack direction. We tried to reach out to governments and financial institutions through Shikishima, for all the good that did. What are we gonna do? Not fight back? This is all we can do if we want to save the world from these Yeah, we haven't really seen any of the higher-ups, except for maybe it's more Mira. We got tons of civilians over there, thanks to all the highways being backed up. Come on, Miwako. Please tell me you didn't take a bus. Hey, maybe we could send a drone out to check on Miwako? On it. Worth a shot anyway. Hope my mom and dad made it out. I told them exactly what to do. We did it! We haven't really seen any, like, parent characters either. Like, people might talk about them, but... They haven't made appearances. Shinome, Shinonome did so much damage just by putting out two uh, sentries. We should just really just bring a bunch of people that have sentries and just lay them down. S rank. The city only took 8.2% damage, but the whole thing was on fire. Twenty twenty five chocolate. Let's, let's sure. Let's do let's do like two fights at a time. Actually, I want to see if I'm fighting fit. You're covered now. I only need one sentry person at a time. Wait, clear within 60 seconds. Self-destruct drum mine kaiju will appear. Mystery file, bento with meatballs. Okay, I need oh one aerial goodness. guy. Actually, I need two aerial people. Long range is good. Leave it to me. 
there's self-destruct guys, then it might be worth it to long range it. I'm ready. The invasion ends here. I wish that if people didn't participate, they went back down to zero brain overload instead of staying at half. We have to deal with these now? This isn't gonna be pretty. What, these wheelie guys? Are they really that bad? Drum mines. Their bombs originally intended oh, for because excavation support. Sekigahara and entire body is filled with RDX. Yuki are on the defense. Range, That's why they're wearing their clothes here. Because they're not deployed. Could cause incredible damage to our sentinels. That's good attention to detail. You know, that sounds like something we might be able to use. True. If we knock them away just before detonation, that could wipe out a whole swarm of kaiju at once. We use their own weapons against them. But is it really going to be that easy? Now you're talking. We'll give them a taste of their own damn medicine. So we should use the melee dudes to punch them away. Can't mess this up. Okay. Now what do I do? Start by laying down those sentries. Lend us a hand. I wish I could pick their starting points too. What now? I mean, you could put down a sentry too, you know, actually. Yeah, I bet more enemies are going to spawn this way too. Maybe I should wait on the sentries. Avoid moving too much first. Wait, that guy is still Enemy on the move. very much healthy. Wait, no, he's got only a tiny bit of health now. You know, you, know, you can just. I'll just let the sentry finish Stay him off. Calm. Not throwing away. Let's my see. Oh, okay, hi. Okay, you, you're fine. I want to leave you on standby because I don't know when the next enemy's Let's dropping. Enemy. I gotta think. Back me up. What next? Unbelievable. I'm acting like an owl. The practice runs. I guess life comes to stay. Let's see. Here's the plan. More sentries! Just drop more sentries. That easy. Good. I'll make it work. That's what I'm using the all-rounders for. They're just dropping sentries. That's all they're good for. The practice round's over. Number 12 moving out. Where are they? Oh hello. Here just in come. time to get blasted. Like an amateur. 
dropping more guys over here. Stand by. I guess life comes at you fast. Stay on guard. Now then. Number 22. Two one What's optimal? Oh geez, there's a explodey dude right here. Goto's too close to those explodey dudes. Oh jeez. They're just about to explode on him. What about this? Okay, so if I destroy them, they don't their explosion does not do damage. I was worried that if I shot them, they would just all explode on Hijiyama, but he's okay. It has to be the last wave, right? Number 22, advancing. Number 12, moving up. Focus. More sentries. Oh, wave 1, 4. It just, no, wave just means which uh, fight I'm on. This is the fourth fight in the chapter. Waiting for these guys to drop. Number 12, moving up. Moving okay. Number 13, where moving are up. they? Number 19, yeah, immense movement. I'll make it work. Number 16, moving up. We can do this. Right? goes back to wherever my cursor is, even if I'm in the middle of nowhere. I used to hang out there all the time back in middle school. Damn it. Hope everyone got out okay. It's never easy to see your own home up in flames. I know this Wait, but you hard. guys aren't deployed. How come you're naked? We're fighting to defend our homeland. We knew no, I mean, we wouldn't come out unscathed. Hijiyama is, and Mira even is, but... This fight, how many people are we gonna lose? I don't think Ogata's deployed, right? God. Maybe there is no rhyme or reason who's even if it ends up tearing this city apart. What else can we do but fight back? In the robot or out of the robot in the talking scenes. We made it. Yeah, because Ogata was not deployed. So it didn't make sense for him to be there. That 
That got kind of messy. But a win's a win. And Fuyasaka has like a couple more levels on top of everyone else just from her sent sentries. I keep wanting to call them sentinels, but. Took zero damage all around. I got bent to a meatballs. Gosh, there's so much more. Hey, but if I do the battles like two at a time, I think that's pretty manageable. I feel like I should do Fuyusaka because she's probably important to the plot. Or maybe, maybe Megumi. Actually, let's do Fuyusaka. We'll do the, the three dreamers. Amaguchi, Kurabe, and Fuyusaka. group's album. Well, you know the lead vocalist? He looks a bit like <laughs> Oh gosh. Kun. So what? Jeez. Right, you also have a and thing for him. All the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan Every day I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. Even just watching from afar. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. You're still talking? You done now? Let me think. Maybe, but come on. <sighs> Whenever I think about him. Alright, she likes Sekigahara. It's racing. It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? Have you seen how the guys react when Mori Moro walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. <laughs> she does have a nice figure, and I can sort of understand. Doesn't help for the clothes that she wears. As for guys I like, I think Amiguchi comes handsome. Yua Chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Usami chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and. Seems a bit weird, honestly. That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. You've got a strange taste in your Shallower than a cookie pan. That's mean. Are you done now? Oh my god, you're still talking. He has a lot of secret admirers. You're just talking about boys. About Amiguchi kun. I heard he's not joining the basketball team. What a shame. He's so good at it. Back in grade school, he played soccer. But one day, he just got bored and quit. You guys knew each other back then? Yeah, in fourth grade. Nachan too. We were in the same class. Are you sending your love letter, Miwa-chan? I don't know. My fortune said bad luck this week, so... He was so cute. <laughs> See, confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri chan. Uh, sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. Yeah, I'll pass. Romance aside, I'm still hungry. Let's get more treats. Yeah, let's talk about food. Good idea. Where should we go? But now where were we? <laughs> Let's get sweet. It's a hot day today. Why don't we get soft serve? Nah, I'd rather have crepes. Let's let Yori-chan decide. The soft serve 
voice just got a new flavor. Oh, this is tough. I wonder what it tastes like. Don't you want to try it, Yuri chan? Oh, I can smell the. I kind of want some crepes. I agree with Usami chan. Crepes sound good right now. Then that's that. Let's go. Mmm, those look so good. I have a really big sweet tooth, my friends know this. <laughs> you didn't get your usual? Chocolate banana, right? Double strawberry was half off. A half half off? What a deal! Yum. Oh gosh, she ate so much in Let's one bite. See. I also I do like savory crepes too, but sweet ones are How so good. Mm, so many strawberries, crispy edges, lots of cream. You know, what if I got the tuna and mayo? I could have fed it to the cat. Hey, we don't even know if we're gonna find that cat. Crepes? I actually have cat treats with me. If you want to feed him, give him those. Do you buy cat treats specifically so for the, the stray? Been feeding them? Jeez, Miwako. I'll keep that in mind next time I Man, see one. Man, she ate that thing napkin and all. <laughs> Thanks, Miwachan. You know, making crepes at home is actually not too bad, but it's hard to make them thin enough. Mine are usually just a little bit too thick, but they still okay, taste good. At this point, we've hit up most restaurants um, in town. Do you think we'll put on weight? Mm, we did just eat a lot of sugar. Yori. Are you on a diet? Is that crush getting to your head? Don't tell me. You two are taking things to the next level? She hasn't even learned his it's name. Not like that. She hasn't even seen him since. Man, all the guys at school. There's not even one. Oh, that's like. the same conversation. Oh, there's the cat. It's just right there. You guys walked right past it. Oh. Did you see that Usami chan? It was that kitty again. Also, there aren't really any places it. nearby here that serve crepes. I had to go kind of far to get good crepes. Which is why I crave them more, because I don't get them very often. You wanted to go Yeah, you must well, oh. he looks so man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? <gasps> Now's the time. I'll use Miwa-chan's treats. When did you pocket them? They were still in her possession. Now's the time. I'll use... What? Did you see that Am I supposed to put it, like, on the ground or something? Again. I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Did I miss my opportunity? Maybe someone's feeding them. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. You saw it too, right, Yuri chan? Didn't it look the same? What am I supposed to do now? Oh, here he is. Oh, it's what? Okay. Hey. Like, how do I put the cat treats down? Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri-chan? Didn't it look the same? Come back, cat. Oh. <gasps> Oh, now it's running away, and I'm not even that close. Last time it ran away when I was this close. Now I'm over here, it. and it's running away. Must have taken off like, already. when I open up the thought bubble, it only lets me consider so the cat trees. Many stray cats around here. Just let me Maybe them. use them. That kitty. What if I just stand Maybe here? The same one I, saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri-chan? Didn't it look the same? 
Ha! Oh, right oh come on. Hey, the most annoying part is waiting for the, all their dialogue to cycle back through. I you wanted to go to the yeah, you must really well. He looks so man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might okay, there like. he is. Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan. Even just watching from afar. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Mori Moro walks in? Oh. Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice. I'm considering it. I'm considering it. That's for guys I like. I think I'm You have to I have to move slowly. That guy's shallower than a cookie oh. pan. Did you see that in some? <laughs> what do I do? I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone is feeding them. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school. Don't tell me I'm gonna be stuck on this part of the game just trying to feed the stupid cat. A lot of cats look like that. You saw I know you can talk, cat. Didn't it look the same? You talked in the last episode. Oh, it's look, I didn't move. I didn't even do anything. I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone is feeding them. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri chan Didn't it look the same? Oh, it's over there! How do I use the cat treats? Can I just put them down like a distance? Wait, it already ran away? Must have taken off already. I didn't even do anything! So many I wanna leave. I wanna get out of here. here. Goodbye. Maybe someone is feeding them. I don't think it's bugged out, I think it's just not intuitively obvious. A lot of cats look like that. I'll stand over here. Oh, I'm so sick of hearing this dialogue. This was a mistake. Oh, it's over there. I don't see it. What? Why does it keep running away it when it's off screen? Stray cats around here. Maybe someone is feeding them. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri chan? Didn't it look the same? Oh, it's over there! Droid, run away. I don't see it. <laughs> Taken off already. Come on. Come on. So many you dumb cat. Here. Can't believe Maybe this. Someone's feeding them. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri chan? Didn't it look the same? Oh, it's over there! It doesn't even let me! I let's maybe we should even just pick a different snack. Maybe we're supposed to pick ice cream. Did you see that, Usami? It was that oh, I'm stuck in this loop. I don't see it. I'm stuck in this loop. Must have taken Every day all. they keep me up at. <sighs> She has red glass. Whenever I think my heart, it's like love. If I said that, Nick. after that, you wanted to go to. Yeah, you must. Well, he looks. So what? Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like. 
about? I heard he's not going to shake back in great, but one day you guys, yeah, not sure. Are you so? I don't know. I see confessions. You uh, don't mind me. You should, huh? It's a love child. Wait, this is new. I saw it in a magazine. A clover. If you include it in a love letter to your crush, your wish will come true. Uh huh. And what was it last week? Put a photo of your crush inside your pillow? Let's see. Now, where were we? Hmm. Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan. Even just watching from afar. I'm sick of this love talk. In a warm blanket. <sighs> Maybe, but come on. <laughs> Have you. Romance, I'm still. Let's get. Good idea. Let's. It's a hot. Why don't we get. Nah, I'd rather. Let's let. Okay, let's get soft serve this time. Soft serve place has got a new flavor in. We've had crepes a lot lately. So, I agree with Miwa chan. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's go! Yeah, I don't want to feed a cat in this one. Maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, those are huge! They're about to fall, look! See, I love ice cream, but the hardest part is sometimes if you get some that's like a little melty, or if the person doesn't scoop it nicely, and then you have to worry about it falling off or making a mess. We all got the new flavor. Rich vanilla, right? You Rich vanilla. Chocolate mint. All right, I'm gonna try it. There's only two flavors: rich vanilla and chocolate mint. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I ate that so fast. Mm, super sweet. You know what my lucky item is this week? Don't tell me cat food. That's why you wanted it. Guess things are looking up for you then. They really are. <laughs> I can tell. I'd love to go. Um, do you think we'll put mm, me digit Yori? Are you on a diet? Don't well, tell, tell me, me I still have to feed the cat. It's not like man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Oh, the cat is there. But I don't have cat food. Wonderful, Sami chan. Miwa chan, you should do it. Huh? But it said my luck for this week is bad. But you just ate your lucky item. Don't forget, you got your lucky item today. Yeah, just tell him. Oh, stop. It's so embarrassing. Watching from afar is good enough. But I do envy you, Iori chan. You talk to Amiguchi kun like it's no big deal. You two are chatting on lunch break, right? In the passageway? What about? Well, dreams. Uh. Dreams? Let's see. Now, where were we? Hmm. Even just watching from afar. Amiguchi kun and Kurabe kun's dreams. They sounded a lot like mine. I wanted to talk to them about it. Maybe we're all connected. Yeah, okay, let's do this instead of feed the cat. Kurabe-kun! Oh, oh Fuyasaka-san. What brings you here? You weren't at your desk, so I thought I'd check outside. Are you waiting for Amiguchi-kun? Well, trying to. More dream talk? I'm sure that's what he'd want to do. But <laughs> I just want to play games. I thought I'd ask to hang out at his place. You know, I've been thinking. I know we just met here at school, but doesn't feel like it's for the first time. Uh, Have we met somewhere before? A long time ago? Um, I don't think so. Oh. Fuyusaka's here too. 
Amiguchi-kun. Dream Trio. Did you have another dream? You guessed it. It was crazy, man. I was in this tank thing with legs. <laughs> walking around, beating up monsters. Were you watching some sci-fi B-movie before bed? So you've been having dreams like that all this time? Oh yeah, especially lately. You too, right, Karabi-kun? Mine was about a UFO. I went back in time using the UFO's transmitter. I have dreams like that all the time. But in my case, I think I'm too easily influenced by movies and stuff. Why did you come here anyway? Don't tell me you're interested in our dreams. About that, the truth is, I've been having weird dreams too. It seems like they might be related, so I thought I should talk to you guys about it. Oh yeah? What kind of dreams? Strange dreams. Strange dreams. That was you in my dream, Amiguchi-kun. Flashback and a flashback. Well, this is the bridge. But the... The riverbank looks so empty. Alien in the movie. There's no century tower. This must be before it was built. <laughs> I went back 16 years. Looks like I'm the only one who made it. Were Jiro and Okinokun unable to escape? This must be around the time I was born. And I'm all alone. What am I supposed to do? Hey, do you need to make that sound effect every time one of those things drives by? Oh, hello. Oh, hi. It's Sumire Bridge. Did I make it back? Uh. Hold on! Um... You're Chihiro Morimura, am I right? Who are you? I'm Tetsuya Ida. I was sent here by the future you to the year 2089. So this is after he parted ways A with her. Future me? When she sent him back. Oh, and she said she was on the bridge. She asked me to find you on Sumire Bridge 16 years prior and tell you about our battles. We'll defeat them this time for sure. It's getting noisy. I don't want to get caught. Let's get out of here. What about that thing? Are you just going to leave it here? Don't have much choice. Gonna need it eventually. I'll worry about it later. It's not like it's going to get confiscated by the government or anything. I think it's best you come with me. So, all three of them have different names in the future, but hers is the only oh no. Only Jiro kept his first name. Cuz hers is Morimura and then uh shoes is Ida. Okay, how do I feed the freaking cat? Yeah, it says use cat treats. Was it just bugged? Mm -hmm. Did you see that? It was that kitty again. Oh, I can consider this. 2089. That's what year it was in my dream. He said he'd gone back in time 16 years to find me. If that was a real premonition, something's gonna happen in the year 2105. That's 120 years from now. I don't see it. Strange dreams. Must have taken off already. After you wanted to yeah, you must play. Yeah, 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 let's go get crepes. Man, oh, there's no being in luck even just what it's like your heart. Roman, I'm still. Let's get more. Good idea. Let's get. It's a hot. Why don't we? Let... I'd rather have. Let's let. 
Also, it's kind of funny, like, crepes is one of those words that, like, the original word isn't English, right? It's French. But in, in French, it's pronounced crepe, right? That's what the little accent on the E makes. But then when we brought it to English, we changed it to crepes. And so technically, crepes is correct by English standards, but it's called a crepe. And it's not the only word that does that. It's, it's a lot of food and a lot of borrowed words, because the English language is full of loan words. I agree with Usami chat. Crepes sounds good, right? Then let's get Let's get our crepes. <laughs> I like how we started walking along with that random dude. Figure out how to do the cat treat thing. You didn't get your chocolate but devils yet. You know, what if I got the tuna? I could have fed it to the- Hey, cat's kit! I actually have if you want it. So you're the one who's been feeding cheat. I'll keep that in my- Thanks, Mew. See, I can't consider the cat treats over here. Um, Eeyore, are you on a- Don't- It's not like- Man, all the guys- There's not even one you might like? There you are. Even just watching from afar, it's like your heart's wrapped in a warm oh, blanket. How do I use this? Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guy knows the time? I'll Mora use me with. Am I supposed to go talk to Miwa? Oh. Oh man. There was a call Did out. Was now I can't do it. Again. I don't see it. So am I supposed to just wait here and then call out to her when the cat appears? Or do I have to redo so I have to reconsider it here. and then call out? Someone's feeding them. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri chan Didn't it look the same? It's back. It ran off! I didn't even do anything! I don't see it. After this, you wanted to go- yeah, oh, you This is so that. annoying. So man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might Let like. me use the cat treats. Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan Even just watching from This is so it's stupid. Like Everything else in this game when making choices was pretty straightforward, and then this thing. Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how There's the guys react when Mori Mora walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure. And I can sort of understand. <sighs> As for guys, I like why. why. I think Omiguchi could now so I'll use me with I'll that turn guy's back. shallower than a cookie pan. To move slowly, call out. Men, oh me. god, that was so hard. <sighs> I tilt the control stick Over just a here. little too much, and then the cat runs away. One moment. I'll get the treats. Oh, why was that so hard? He ate the whole thing. And they're very similar, but I think the one at school looks slightly different. So there's more than one. You got a good look at the one at school, huh? At the front gate with Karabe. Oh, you saw that? Oh! That guy's kind of weird, don't you think? What were you talking to him about? It was... Why was it so hard to do that cat thing, though? Jeez. It's only 8.10 a.m. Behold, Yori Fuyusaka, genuine morning person. It's not so bad if I put my mind to it. Oh, kitty! Early cat gets the mouse, huh? Good morning, Fuyusaka-san. <gasps> quiet! Huh? 
Oh, a cat. Looks just like a stray I've seen by my house. Maybe they're siblings. I don't know, they look identical to me. Kurabe-kun, do you still have those dreams? Yeah, sometimes. I have them too. You know that one you talked about earlier? With the UFO buried underground? UFO? Yori! Morning! Usami-chan! That's Megumi. Also, I like how everyone has their own unique way of standing. It kind of adds a little bit of extra character to everyone. Hello. You're not going to talk to me. Good morning. What were you guys up Did to Megumi over take the long way around oh, to school? Um, just looking at a cat. Just so that she doesn't arrive from the same uh, place. Huh. Hey, Jiro. Can we talk a little more? Uh, okay. Megumi. Oh. worried with you all by yourself if something were to happen to you I drill stop <sighs> I'm flattered you feel that way but I can't think about this not now I don't want to leave you hanging no I get it I don't know what got into me this is no time for a confession it would only make things more complicated but, listen, when this is all over, I'll talk to you again. Promise. There's so many, like, I don't want to say love triangle, it's like love... There it is again. Like, dream catcher. Were you able to find the source of these tremors? Okino-kun. Remember the kaiju that were immobilized? They're starting to collapse. The tunnel is blocked. We'll need to find another route to the surface. There's no use rushing. No one's left up there anyway. <sighs> you don't have to say it. <sighs> so you remember. I'm so sorry. About your mother. It's okay. Our work here is a good distraction. I'll check the terminal over there. One block of data is still being analyzed. It's been three days and it's only at 1.2%. That's unusually dense. Still, the system's logical structure... It's not so far off from our own. Was Okinokun right all along? This could be a relic of an ancient civilization. I wonder what this is for. Something incredible, surely. If you asked me for my best guess, I'd say it's a transmission device. In other words, a teleporter. <sighs> Don't give me that look. Hear me out. I actually found some associated data. Come on, you've taken quantum mechanics. Transmission of matter isn't possible. That's what our science says. We can't assume that alien technology is bound by the same constraints. If my theory is correct, we've got an explanation for the disappearances. Including those of your parents, Morimura-san. Guys, come take a look at this. She, so she definitely is Morimura. I mean, we kind of already figured that out, but... The analysis took some time, but... I found this. What is that? The map. This relic is enormous. 
It's 30 kilometers in diameter. And the whole thing's underground, right beneath the city. It looks like a giant saucer. Fascinating. So this isn't just any alien facility. It's a buried UFO. We're only 300 meters from the surface. This facility is huge. How could it have never been discovered? It's not likely. Rather, it may have been intentionally hidden. A government cover-up of alien life. Sounds like a movie from the 20th century. Those monsters on the surface... Are they trying to unearth this UFO? Just what are they after? It may have something to do with this. It's a data signal being emitted by this facility as we speak. What does it look like to you? This is... A countdown. It started when the Kaiju came in contact with the mainframe. Since then, the clock's been ticking. We should investigate further. So when the countdown reaches zero, what happens? Hmm. It may be related to the gravity wave abnormality. Do you think it might... launch? Let's just continue the analysis. There's no time for what ifs. We need to find out what's going on. What if I just stood here in the cutscene until that countdown actually reached zero? I mean, it would take a long period of time, but surely it's possible. So I could unlock this because I unlock. I did unseal three mystery files, but I feel like. Reaching a block point means that we can take a break from doing her story for a bit. Right. I'll unlock it first, but then we'll... See, I'm at a, I'm at 28%. So maybe instead of doing two waves per fight, maybe I should just do... Wait, this one says boss. I was gonna say maybe we should just save the fighting and spread it out a little bit more, but... Maybe we should end this episode on a boss. Pictorial EMP, you'll face large aerial kaiju in this wave. These aerial kaiju have high HP and anti-air armaments aren't very effective against them, given their low power. Anti-ground armaments, though powerful, won't reach the enemies. Okay, so I have to use EMPs. So I have to ground them first. So I already, I already got EMP and tractor for you. Wait, if I enhance it, what does it do? It increases the range. see who else has EMPs. You already know it.
unfortunately, both of you guys are out of it, so I ha you have it. And both of you Let's have it. Ready. I mean, the boss, once I ground the boss, I could use Demolisher Blade to destroy them. Maximum four strike team members. Clear without a sentinel being immobilized. City defense. Hmm. So does that mean they only want me to bring four people for the bonus? I mean, I, I, maybe I don't need two flight units. And maybe I don't need two melees. Let's give this a try. That's what strike team means, right? You should just say attack. Whatever, let's try it. This could go very badly, but... It gives me a date and a time, but it doesn't say the year. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. An aerial enemy. And it's huge. Is that a bomber? You see that, Ogata? Looks familiar, right? Oh, that interstellar development stuff we saw. Back in the dead kaiju. Yeah. Can we get any more info out of the Sentinel computers? Wait, I think I've seen this. The command ship had some data on this trilobite guy. Hold on. Looks like we're seeing a Terra carrier. It's a transport craft for carrying resources. Okay, but what's it carrying? This thing's gotta be more than just a big-ass turnip truck. It says here it can take atmospheric movement and re-entry. The hull's surrounded by magnetic repulsion. A magnetic field? So, like, it'll deflect our shots? We don't know anything about its payload, but it seems hell-bent on delivering it. Whatever the hell it is, it ain't gonna be fun. Let's take it out before it can drop the goods. All Terra Carriers, there's more than one boss? How am I gonna do this with four people? Oh god, there's a bunch- okay, th those guys aren't terror carriers. Okay, at least the Aegis is in the corner of the map, so that means everything's going to be coming at me from this direction. My turn now. Gotta do something. I'll start by attacking the adds. Just a big dude left, but there's probably more coming. I don't know, this is the first boss, so maybe they'll be the only, there's only one of them. My turn now. Don't let up. How's the sentinel? Focus. What do I do?
If I demolish or blade it, it might be grounded by the time I get to it. How's the sentinel? Actually, no. Demolish or blade plan? happens like instantly, doesn't it? Take this. How was that? Gonna be okay. Definitely. It's still too far away. That was like the tutorial boss, and now there's more of them. Oh, jeez! Hey, Giamakun, use the phase plasma EMP. The flying kaiju will lose control and drop out of the sky. If you get surrounded, it's a good fallback. Good for me, but what about the city? How's the sentinel? Wait, this one, yeah. I mean, now's a good time, I guess. What's the plan? You're done. Good. Hope I can pull my weight. More. I said it was too far away. Let's. Air again. Let's take care of these schmucks. Don't miss. Bingo. There you go. Don't waste any chance. And don't let oh. Up. How's the sentinel? What's I'm the out of EP. Sentinel number eleven. Oh, there's more! Hope I can pull my weight. Okay, we're, we're okay on HP, though. They aren't really damaging me that much. Here goes. It's just kind of scary when they disappear out of nowhere like that. Okay, you got enough for another Demolisher Blade, but I need to move you closer. No room for hesitation. Don't let up. Nothing special. Stay calm. 
What do I do? God, I just don't gotta keep it together. Oh, it's already destroyed? I thought I had to EMP it, but I guess I'm somehow able to still attack it when it's in air, it's just not as effective. Aegis activation confirmed. Okay, that was the terminal is now completely sealed off. Easier than I thought. We did it. They've changed targets. The next terminal is just over there. They're already on the move. Can't even let us catch our breath, huh? <sighs> I haven't hit my operating limit yet, but I'll be dismounting the Sentinel temporarily. Whoa, hey, then who's taking point? We don't need orders to kick some ass. Sentinel, activate. You can relax, kids. I'm back in the fight. I won't be long. I'll leave the rest to you. Fine then. Let's roll, Yuki-chan. Back. Like, I wonder, is the dialogue of them retreating and saying they need to rest related to who I'm actually deploying and who's actually reading, reaching, like, the brain overload, or is it just pre-scripted? Like, I don't think so, because I didn't use Goto in that fight. Is everyone okay? Oh, thank goodness. See, Fuyasaka still got MVP, and all she did was put down, like, two sentries. Yeah! Did it with only four people! I got a mystery file for the pear tart! Oh, okay, so now the battle gets locked because I need to finish Mira's prologue. Okay, that's neat. So it does pace me. Let's look at the mystery items. Let's unlock more people. I think the people are more interesting than the locations. Landlady of the Karabe's house. She's the grandmother, but close with Natsuno. Okay, so this is about the real one, not the AI. This is just a random generic track team members, and then there's the android. Oh, there's no picture for the android. Okay, and then, so these are Demos Code, Time Travel, and then there's a bunch of locations, the dreams, the UFO mysteries, PE bag, the items, okay. So in order to get the next battle, I have to do Mira's prologue. Yeah, because we he, he didn't even get a prologue in the in the, the full game's prologue with the rest of them, so... And I still- I don't even have Ogata yet. So I feel like Karabi's probably the last one, right? Because his unlock condition is you need 9 people at over 30%. So that must mean he's probably close to last because he's the main character. Hey, things are getting interesting. I think I'm getting a hang of the flow of the game. The the battle system, I think I'm getting a hang of, but because I'm playing it on normal, I don't know how difficult it actually gets. Like, maybe it could ramp up, but right now it's manageable. I'm not taking much damage. I'm not sure if it's still because I'm kind of in tutorial mode, or if it's just kind of forgiving in general. But, uh, I guess we'll see. I'm enjoying this game, though. Like, there's there's enough intrigue to it that I want to know more, although there's parts that are kind of confusing. I'm not a fan of, like, how they keep talking about all the... And there's a lot of, like, flirting and, like... And there's a little bit of innuendo here and there, but it's actually not too bad. It was a little bit more in the last episode, so it doesn't take away from it. It's not like... Like the first route we did in I, the Somnium Files, where... There was too much, like, sexual humor that just was out of place and took away from it. This one, it's, it's okay. So, I'm interested in the characters. I like the art style still. There are some characters I like, but I'm not really sure if there's like a character I can say like, 
Oh, I love them, and they're totally my standout. Like, I like a lot of them, and then there's a lot of them that I just don't know enough about to have an opinion about. The, still, the whole jumping between, like, there's dreams, and then there's, like, the future, and then there's, like, the, the far future, and then there's the present, and then there's, like, multiple timelines in the present. It's a little bit, uh... Not confusing, but it, because it hasn't tied together yet, I'm just worried that by the time I get to things tying together, I'm going to be a bit confused because I'm going to forget some of the stuff, so I think that's where the analysis archives comes in place. I'm enjoying the game though. I'm, I think this was a good pick. I'm glad I picked something that had a good balance of story with some gameplay. It was a little bit different and unorthodox and maybe things that uh, people have played before. Definitely an interesting take on the genre. I heard that this game won a lot of like awards as well for its storytelling in particular. So I guess we'll see where it goes. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. Tune in tomorrow, I think I'll continue streaming this throughout the week, same time as usual. And in the meantime, uh, one of my friends is streaming, I think they're raiding in Final Fantasy XIV right now, so maybe I'll send you guys off on a little raid. So stick around for that, and otherwise I will see you next time. So thank you so much for joining me guys, really appreciate it, thank you for following and subscribing and tuning in and commenting. Uh, I really appreciate it. It always makes these things uh, a little bit more fun. So, see you next time. Take care. Thank you so much. And stick around for a raid. Bye bye.